Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? We are here in Tokyo. It is uh, 3.15 in the p.m. here in sunny, 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 little sunny Los Angeles. It is the 28th of March, 2021, and uh, we are now, have left Bathurst, thank God, <laughs> and we're now in Tokyo. Um, just like that, we've jumped from one continent to another, and um, and we're going to do uh, pra start practice this week for uh, the race on Saturday at Tokyo Expressway, Outer Loop. I'm hoping everyone's doing good today. Uh, I'm doing pretty all right. Spent the morning on Discord. And the morning watching a podium on his channel, and I watched a couple other channels today. But podium, I was I was to like I was like giving the shout out to my boy podium, um, is uh, doing uh, the 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 grand grand tours of driving school challenges. So uh, so uh, that's what he's doing. But anyhow, um, yeah, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, um, that's probably the best way to like find out. You know what's going on in the community. Uh, we all have a lot of fun over there. <laughs> it's it's blown up in the last couple of weeks, so now there are a bunch of people in there talking all the time, and it's great. It's awesome that you guys are all using it, and it's uh, and you guys are talking to each other too. It's not just me talking; it's like everyone talking and having conversations. Um, and then if you want to see Jason D's uh, Jason's uh, <laughs> awesome meets, definitely <laughs> join the join the uh, join the Discord because. Every day we get to look at uh, some other meat that Jason is cooking. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm hoping everyone's having a fantastic Sunday. Um, without any further ado, let's go ahead and open up the schoolhouse. And, uh, well, this is what we're looking at, too. Uh, yo, Turismo! Hey, I got cut off from the chat this one. I don't know what happens. I have no idea what happens. Like, I was chatting with you, and then all of a sudden, everything, everything, everything blew up, and I, I didn't have anything. So I made some hot pockets <laughs> while I was waiting, trying to figure out what what was going on with the um, with the group chat we had going on. Yeah, there's something weird going on with my tech, man. I don't know. It's been a bad week. What's up, hands? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, PSN is against us. Oh, here comes Jonah Freeman. Jonah Freeman's chopping at the bit to get in here. <laughs> there's Jared. There's Turismo. All you, my homies. All, all of my Patreon. Two of my Patreon members are in here. Smog Baxter being the third one. Thank you guys again for being Patreon members. Um, but we'll talk more on the um, the on y'all setting up y'all's uh, y'all's um, what's it called? What's up, Jared Freeman? There's Jamie. There's Jamie. Everyone that's in the chat's inside the room right now. Oh word! I'm just gonna say, yo, to y'all's right here. <laughs> What's up, Jay? How's your day today, Jared? Yeah, if you guys uh, if you guys look at the last Discord pic, it's of, of Jason doing barbecue today. Which, um, after eating the hot pocket, I was just like, <laughs> I had just finished eating my hot pocket, and then Jason posted that pic up, and I was like, that's really depressing. <laughs> that was really depressing. <laughs> My stomach was full, and then all of a sudden, it was just like, eh. <laughs> I was just like, damn it, man. So I'm going to make a section just for Jason so he can post his, his hot meats up. <laughs> Looks like everyone's coming in. Hey, Ben Nezzy's here. Good to see you again. Good to see you again, Ben Say hi to PCK attack. Everyone's 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 really really uh everyone was waiting at the doors. I guess everyone's trucks were already unloaded. What's up, DJ Finesse? What's up? Yo Hamish is in here. I haven't seen Hamish on the Discord in a while. Yo, we'll give you a Hamish a yo though. Yo You're on the Discord a little for a little bit there, Hamish. I haven't seen you in a while. So this should be an interesting race. This should be a very interesting race because it's gonna be from what Scotty says, Tree Fitty. Oh, there's DSO. But from what Scotty says, this is a no stop. This is a no stop on mediums. 
So apparently it's going to be the same thing as, uh, uh, what's it called? Sardinia, where it's a, um, qualify on your softs and then, um, and then, uh, Finesse, are you P4R now or are you still USGT? <laughs> Here's Intellion. Wow, everyone's coming in. Um... Let's see, why eat pie? We have never met them before, so we'll say good afternoon. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's an alt account, so I can yo your alt account. I, I saw you the other day, and I was just like, is that is that USGT finesse or what? <laughs> yo! Yeah. I was about to say, I don't want a knife fight up inside the lobby, man. <laughs> Y'all take your knife fight to another rooftop. This ain't this ain't West Side Story. <laughs> Intellion will say yeah to you too. This ain't, this, ain't, this ain't the place to have a knife fight. <laughs> we'll save that to the rooftops of New York. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, John X three seventeen. We'll give us like what ten minutes here for everyone to kind of get their bearings here straight. Uh, good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Well, uh, well, how about eight minutes? Eight minutes sound good to everyone? Say qualifying in eight minutes, yeah? I think that might give it enough time for everyone to, uh, to settle in here. In eight minutes at... And that way we can just, just get things on, underway pretty quickly. I'm trying to fit as many, um as many races in tonight as possible. You know, I think this is going to be a quick one, uh, with it only being uh, 15 laps. So, um... So, you know, we'll see what happens. Win of five. Nice to meet you, and then we're qualifying in seven minutes. And... Seven minutes at 30. Good to see everyone, though, man. Good to see everyone. I don't know. The USGT guys, you guys ran um, some some laps around here last night. How did you feel on the no-stop? Okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, word? You know, you can still type in the in the Discord, too, Hamish. <laughs> You don't have to talk. You can. You can. You can. We're having a. We're having a blast. Just chatting at chatting at each other. So. <laughs> Why are we doing good afternoon? I'm gonna use yo suede. Yo. FC Delta 17. Wow, we're filling up pretty quick here. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Qualifying in six minutes. Hey, what's up, Michael? Good to see you. You coming in? Qualifying in six minutes at 30. You coming into the uh, the old schoolhouse? We got room. I think we have room. Oh, no, we don't have any room. <laughs> we don't have any more room. But maybe the next one, yeah? How is it How is it over there in, uh, in the UK? How's, how, how was your day today? Take a look at people on track. Smog! Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, I know. It filled up really fast. But um, we're qualifying in like six minutes, so uh, it'll be all good. It, this should be a quick race. Um, it's only 15, 16 laps. So, um, so it shouldn't take too long to elapse. This is a really fast track. Um, it's lots of, lots of straightaways. Which could really um, bode really horribly for me in the, in the in the RSR, or it could be really good. It's Turismo and that good looking uh, the new redesign for the uh, for the USGT cars are looking hot. <laughs> Smog, did you get my um, did you get my message on the Discord? And Michael, there's a if you want to join us in the Discord, there's a a link down below in the description. Um, but we're a good, good little community. 
you know? For anyone that's watching, there's a link down in, the, in that down there in the Discord. You do have to, like, agree to rules and regulations, which means, like, you know, no excessive cursing or whatever, but um, once you get through all of that, you'll, you're open to a world of discording. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be like two minute laps, twenty nine minutes with yeah. So it's it's only like thirty minutes. It's a really, it's a really quick race, right? Yeah, the 26, 20 second, uh, 26 second pit time is killer on this. This should really be a one stop, right? It really should be a one stop, but they've somehow for some reason have made it a, you know, because of the ridiculous pit times is now a no stop. You know, it's it's annoying. I wish I wish they had had made the pit times so ridiculous. If it was more like a ten second stop, then definitely you know that would be a pit stop. I would be pissed if my if I were to come down, you know, pit row, and my my team took over three seconds to to switch my tires. F one teams can do it like in a second and a half, man. Hurts. <laughs> F1 teams can do it like in a second and a half, man. <laughs> no required stops on this, but we do have to. Uh, we do have a. Um, we do have a, uh, a false check start, so it's a it's a grid start with a false check. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my softs on. Yeah, my softs already on for qualifying. <coughs> uh oh, why is my stream making that? Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, it's it's no required stops on this one. I don't think we've ever had required stops on any of the races yet. We just had required tires, but no required stops. Um. But uh, but it is a no stop on mediums, probably more than likely. Smog, did you get my message? We're gonna have to uh, sit down and figure out. Um, we've got to start. Um, thinking about your livery because you get a livery with your Patreon membership. <laughs> um, you got you got free lifetime member. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, liveries with your with your Patreon membership. And that's 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 non negotiable. <laughs> that's non negotiable. I have to at least give you that. You'll also get like a mug and like sweatshirts and like a t-shirt and a sticker or something along with all of that stuff, so. Um, this should be a fun race though. I ran it a little bit last night in the RSR for like a split second just to get the thumbnail for today. Because that's how I get my thumbnails is from the game. Like I get the thumbnails from the game and then I pour them over to the PC and then I put it into um, this... DaVinci Resolve and give it all of its little boxes and stuff, so. If you guys ever wonder how I do my thumbnails, I literally get it. I take a picture in the game because GT Sport has an amazing, an amazing image, uh, image capture. But then uh, I bring it out to the PC and do all of the, the lettering and stuff, the, all of the text and stuff on, in, in DaVinci Resolve. So, we are going to qualify here. Qualifying. Oh, it's so quiet. We need music. That's right. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing music. Music. There's my music. Come on. Come on. There we go. Streamlabs. Oh, there we go. Alright. There's music. Yeah, the lobby's full right now. Alright, we're gonna send this one. Yeah, the lobby's totally full right now, Michael. Wait for everyone to leave here. 
Finesse, man, make sure to change your tires to soft. Oh, you just went out on your mediums. <laughs> You guys go out. Oh, Jared, you switched to your mediums. Go back to your softs. Jared, you're out on your mediums. You're glitching? No! Come on! That sucks. That means you're gonna you're gonna glitch through. Well, you shouldn't be glitching. Dumb servers. Make sure you clear out your network cache. One and a half seconds, dude. Are you kidding me? Three seconds? What? For what? What did I get a three second penalty for? Actually, my really my very first time going around <laughs> like actually in like driving mode yes last night I was just kind of tootling around just to just to get a good thumbnail <laughs> but I didn't really actually run the track <clears throat> yeah this is my test run too is it my end or your end Turismo I wish you could join in after we had started, like, the qualifier just put you in the last spot. That, there should be an option to put you just, like, to start if you join in. That sucks. I wish there was an option to, like, you know, put you into the race, you know, in last place if you come in after we start qualifying. Is the NSX good here? I know the NSX struggles though in other tracks.
Yeah, that'd be great. You know, so you don't have to sit and watch the whole time. I mean, you're welcome to spectate. If anyone, spectate uh, Benezzi, because Benezzi is ultra fast. Benezzi's like top split. And the 4 GT would be awesome around here, because the 4 GT is like horsepower up the wazoo. That thing's fast. Okay. Yeah, you're more than welcome to do that, Ventilion. Yeah, if you want to spectate someone, uh, I would spect spectate Benezzi. Charisma while you're in here. Benezzi's ultra fast. Benezzi's very, very, very fast. And a very accurate driver. He's a, he's dead, he's top split. I mean, look at his time. You get, he put in a 156. Benezzi put in a 156.649, man, that's quick. And I don't know how many times he's been around here before, so... Benezzi's, Benezzi's insanely fast. Hopefully we'll see Mikey tonight. I haven't seen Mikey in like two races, man. I hope Mikey the Fist comes in. I'm hoping everything's okay. Mikey. Alright, this is a false check to start, so we're going to have to actually use the traction control here. <laughs> oh, where's my traction control? I forgot where my traction control is.
Alright, sorry. Old days, Jared. <laughs> See, catch up, Jared. See, Joe and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Freeman now. Get the Freemans one, one and two behind me. <laughs> one in front of me, one behind me. Let's go, Spider. There goes Son. Four seconds worth of penalty on my head right now. <laughs>
this out. dropping out of the race. Got at least 10 seconds for the Benazzi's time. Help if I didn't hit all of every single wall. <laughs> at least there's no grass. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to watch someone do a couple laps around here, which I'm going to probably do right now, because I really don't know my way around here, honestly. 
I mean, I'm just guessing at this point what I, what I should be doing. Um, I'm gonna hop on with the ASO here because he's driving the same car. It's also giving me a good chance to, uh... Look at that. Remember all those problems we were having last week? Gone. Okay, so why am I not getting his telemetry? What's the thumbnail? What's the what's the thumbnail, Mark? I knew you would get it. Jason got it really quickly because Jason's also a musician. So what what's what's your answer, Mark? Remember, it's got to be in the form of a question. Jeopardy styles. What is the answer to, for today's thumbnail question? Today's thumbnail th thumbnail lyric is brrr, Mark. <laughs> yeah. What's up, freak? Good to see you, my friends. Stream two is fine. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna try raising the exposure. <laughs> I knew you would get it, Mark. I was like, I was as I was making it last night, I was like, Mark or Jason are gonna be the first people to get this one. <laughs> you are right! <laughs> I was like, I, that that question was literally with both of you guys in mind. I was like, they're gonna be the first ones to get this one. <laughs> this one. This one's gonna be easy for them. Uh, yeah. I, I'm thinking of it as a no stop. Uh, Deaso has been on his mediums the whole time, so he he kind of figured out no stop as well. Qualifying, uh, qualify on um, softs and uh, no stop on mediums. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna raise my EV. I wonder if my exposure is going to throw off, throw off, um, give me a second guys, I'm going to, I'm going to throw the EV up a little bit because I can't see anything, that's the other problem I'm having is I can't see anything, so if I adjust the EV setting, just a little bit, let's go point three. I wonder if that'll freak the stream out. Well, nice and steady. So apparently my 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 card was having problems trying to ingest the contrast between light and dark on the last race. Oh. The ace is gonna go in for week for tires. To this very dark pit row. <laughs> Let's look at Jammy. Jammy's down first. And the vet. Woo! We got tires. <laughs> Scott, this is going to be a tough race for you if this is what your tires look like at lap 10. That, that's pretty vicious. Suede. Let's look at Suede's tires, because Suede's in the uh, Supra. Or the FT1. Is this the FT1? No, it's that. It's AB the tire wear here. Suede's is just a little bit better. Tiny bit. This is gonna be a tough race for y'all's and the uh, the big old cars. Let's look at what 
uh, the Atenza looks like right now. It looks like Benezzi went for tires as well, maybe. Well, definitely. But Jamie is putting down, uh, is now starting to get into the twos because of the tire wear. But was putting down like 58s and 59s. What was Benezzi doing before his tire change? 58s and 59s. Very quickly gaining though. And he's in, Benezzi's in the Atenza. Swade's gonna go in for tires. Jamie will stay out. This is gonna be interesting to see whether or not um, Jamie drive fast. Yeah, Godzilla. <laughs> Melon, I, I actually tagged you uh, on on the the, the the thumbnail this morning, hoping that you would you would you would see it before everyone else did. <laughs> if Jamie could hold out for the next three laps, but is gaining and so is uh, every, everyone else. It looks like two, three, and four are driving in a big pack, I think, too. Yep. Nice, nice liveries in this little bunch here. Yeah, Benezzi's on it. Benezzi's really on it right now. will bump draft um, ECK attack and try to catch up with Jamie. Jamie drive fast, man, they're, they're gaining fast. <laughs> Let's answer the question though. I mean Either go slow on worn down tires or go take the hit and go in for a tire change. We got Benezzi's doing it. They're, they're right behind Jamie now. Everyone's on fresh tires, except for Jamie. Benezzi continues to uh, bump draft here. They'll catch right up. Look at that time differential. It's, it's, it's going up and down, but it's definitely... See him now. Yeah, it's definitely going down. That attends us fast here, man. Well, Benez is also really fast, so.
things once things come start going. stop is uh, only medium only medium melon uh, was voted GP the morning this morning that sucks. Well, maybe we'll get it tomorrow. I'll make tomorrow's it's kind of easy. Oh, there goes Benezzi. This has been an interesting little experiment here. I believe Benezzi's top split. He's a very fast driver, regardless of they are. try to get around and he won't make it. finish time for this one too. So I know people will ask later on this week what the elapsed time will be for this. It's fuel tank screaming at him. The case might be. But I mean, let's look at everyone that everyone in the top four went for a stop. Except for Jammy. But see, this is the other question though, Scott. You lose 26 seconds on one one lap, but is that equal all of your top time being slower on your last top times? You know, once your tires start wearing, you're gonna start adding on time to your, your time. Bathurst, I think, is an, is, a, is an exception because so many people wrecked on that track. You know, because I, I ended up being, the last race, I ended up beating out people that were on new tires. But this is, I don't think that's going to be the case for this one. This, there's so much space here that everyone has equal room to F up. <laughs> Whereas, like, we got bottlenecked to Bathurst, you know? Even people on, like, the fresh tires would get battle knocked. Battle, 
bottlenecked with people that were on slower tires. You know, elapsed time here looks like Ooh, attack. PCK attack apparently won. I don't know we're gonna have to we're gonna have to test the whole theory out on another stop on this one. I I think even Chris said it was a what you have to stop on this one. Just because the people on the fresh tires are going to pile drive past you. Especially on this track, man. I mean, that's what happened to Jamie. Jamie, Jamie was rocking it, and then he got... He just got pile drive by everyone that was behind him. Where'd you end up? You're still in third. So, I mean, unless you can stay way, way ahead of everyone... You, you say you can't one-stop that one, Jerry. So you saying don't take tires. See, I think the jury's out on this one, man. I think, I think you could go either way if you wanted to. It depends on how fast of a driver you are. Uh, there's space. Whoever needs to get in. Mark's in. I wish you could give up my, my spot. Because we'll watch this on the next one, too. Because I'm curious. I'm curious to see. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to have like control subjects, though. Someone's gotta do. Someone fast has gotta do a no stop, and someone fast has gotta do a stop. Well, Scott, do it in this race. <laughs> do it in this race. You can. You can prove your point in this race. But I think most people have already... I've, I've heard the other people that ch tested it last week while we were still at... What's it called? We're saying that was a one-stop. Why? Where's my cursor? Let's keep this party rolling. Qualifying. And... Now we got should nine is nine minutes is nine minutes uh, good enough for everyone for a break? Should I give you guys more time? You guys want fourteen minutes or nine minutes? Which one? I know people gotta have smoke breaks and stuff. How long of a break do you guys want? It's either gonna be nine minutes or fourteen. <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> Okay, Deace is gonna try. Deace, what are you gonna do on this one? You're gonna do a no stop. You're gonna do a stop. We'll give it nine minutes. No one's answering me. <laughs> oh, everyone's entering. I'm gonna be probably be the only one um, spectating. I wish I could give it to you, Michael, but they they didn't build the stupid server that way. My cursor is... Where's my cursor? Give me my cursor back. Oh my god, stupid game. Thank god I have my keyboard. Yeah, it's a busy lobby tonight. Everyone wants to test. We'll spectate another one, Smog, so we can... Oh, wait. One spot is just opened up. Jump in. Oh, there's TMKR77. <laughs> too, too late. I don't know where I'm selecting people's names. No. 
Hold on, hold on. Let me answer questions here. Room now, Bob Smog, jump in. Jump in now. I gotta do this little scale display at. Where's my cursor? Why is my cursor not working? Michael, I'll tell you as soon as someone comes and jumps out. I can't yo smog or I can. I can't yo at you though because my freaking cursor won't work. I don't I don't know. I, I see it highlighting stuff, but I don't see my cursor. This is gonna make this all so much more painful. <laughs> why why are you not working? Can you work now? If I go to spectate. Will you work then? Technology, dude. Now I can't even get the spectate. Okay, there's that cursor. Okay, now it's back. All right. Yeah, spectators shouldn't count. Yeah, it really should be. It really should be um, 20. So who's going to be who's going to be this who's going to be the control subject in this experiment? One guy's got a one guy's got a not not pit. Whoever can think they can go out <laughs> We don't know yet, TMK seventy seven. The jury's still out. Um, let's look at the members list because it also help if if you guys are the same level. Who else is a B that's on? Do you think you can hang with Scotty back, back smog? <laughs> Suede, can you hang with Scotty? Because if you can. One of you should do a no stop and one of you should do a stop. Just so we can see. Oh, we gotta say yo to um to, to Mark coming um, that came in too. Did I say yo to Mark? Yo Mark! <laughs> Oh, awesome. We'll have to watch that. We'll have to watch the PX Cam, but PX Cam 20. We'll have to watch that. You're such a, you're such a, you're such a British cynic, Scotty. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna believe you for now, but if you get trounced on this one, I want you to see, I want to see you in the top five. 
I want to see you in the top five or at least winning this one. And then I'll and then I will I will full 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 fledged back your idea that this is a no stop. That's if everyone else stops. How about everyone stops except for Scott? <laughs> <laughs> we just want to see it. Well, yeah. But I would like to see it also... You have to apply it to a race, though. You have to play, apply the idea to the race, you know? So, I mean, yeah, then you can't base it, you have to base it off your personal times. But then, you know, it also has to apply to an actual race. You know, because you do have to eventually race, race this thing. And they're gonna be people, they're gonna be people that stop and they're gonna be people that don't stop. You know, it really depends on, it's all ap applicable to your skill and whether or not you can handle your car, you know, with, with bad tires. You know, it, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a, a, a blanket statement for everyone. You know, some people might really suck on terrible tires and might do better on, might go way faster on nice tires. Ah, right, we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna put the theory to test here, Scott. That's why we're doing this. I mean, I'm sure there are gonna be people that are gonna try to no stop on this one too. So, I'm willing to give up my track time so we can we can uh, we can just watch overall for these first couple. Why you guys do qualifying? I got a cup of coffee. What's up, Philippe? How you doing? Good to see the hovercraft in here. Lobby's busy right now. So there should be some time to jump in here in a bit. We just started our first or our second race. So this race takes about 30 minutes. You know, plus the 10 minute to 15 minute break in between. So if you're trying to get in, probably in another 40 minutes or something like that. We'll do several of these tonight. I'll probably be running until, good God, like 10 o'clock tonight or something, 11. Next week will be, uh, since we're gonna be out of the season, I'm gonna take Sunday off probably. Just because I haven't had a real like full day off in a while from streaming. I'm already kind of starting to lose my voice because of just talking all day. Um, but uh, but next week we'll do uh, we'll do livery school next week just to give a little break from driving. 
<laughs> we'll do livery school next week. I know you wanted to do some livery stuff, Philippe, so maybe you want to tune in to next week. Oh yeah, no problems, man. Like I said, dude, I don't have any problems giving out the, you know, the, the settings. The settings are free to anyone, dude. You can set up whatever, whatever lobby you want. Just as long as you don't put my name on it. <laughs> that's the only problem. That's the only time I have problems with it. You know, these lobbies aren't any secret. You know, everyone's free to open them up and do whatever, you know. And, you know, you can practice in whatever lobby you want. Just don't put my name on it. <laughs> that's why I had a problem with that. Those one, that one group that keeps on putting my name on their lobbies. I'm like, I don't care about the lobby. You can do whatever you want with the lobby. That's fine. Just don't put my name on it. Let's do a street car at night. What are you talking about for the uh, liveries? The liveries? I'm gonna. This is gonna be like an intro to liveries because a lot of people have been asking me about how to do because they don't have any experience with the livery editor um, or very little experience with livery editor. This is gonna be kind of like a refresher course or kind of a basic course. We'll start off with like a golf. A golf livery, which is probably the easiest livery to do, and then we'll work our way up over the course of the week. We're gonna even have homework and stuff. Turismo, are you no stopping on this? While you're driving, don't don't worry about it. Turismo's fast, so uh, this will be a good. This will be good, a, a good litmus test. Well, next week we're just gonna do. Next week we're doing livery because I've been having a lot of people ask me about livery stuff. But you're starting from the back. Why don't you start from the front? <laughs> Why don't you qualify? Yeah, thanks, Intellion. Thank you. I wish I could give my damn spectating spot to someone, man. I should be able to do that. I should be able to let someone in because I'm spectating the race. Yeah, you're good for that, Italian. Thank you so much for doing that. It's a busy, it's a busy night tonight. So, typically tonight's like a busy night, and then uh, Wednesday and Friday will be busy as well. Mondays not so much. Mondays people have like real life stuff to do. Monday and Tuesday are like the least busiest days here. Wednesday becomes very busy. Actually, Thursday is that busier than Wednesday, I think, and then Friday's busy. You powered Flicker three about three times an hour ago. Didn't you say you had like snow or something going on? Are you doing a no stop? Okay. Okay, Turismo's doing a no stop. I hope Dieso doesn't stop, just so we can see. I've got to remember to save this replay. Someone remind me to save the replay. Let's go on board with, uh... This one's already fifth. Uh, let's go on board with the ASO. from the view everyone likes. This is the top three here.
I already seen a vet catching up the 9-11. Does not give me much confidence. Scotty's works his way in the fourth. Jamie leaves the pack. The ace is on soft, so I imagine the ace is going to do a stop. So the top two are on mediums. The top four, top four are mediums, I think. And Benezzi is on his mediums as well. So he's gonna look like, looks like Benezzi's gonna try out the uh, no stop either. So Diesel will be our control. be a good one too because RSR is typically pretty slow in the uh, straights unless it picks up a um, slipstream. Tough race for the RSR, I think. Let's uh, you can continue to do this. Just hang out in the slipstream. softs as well. So everyone between Dieso and Suede or, or, or Finesse is, are running uh, mediums right now. There will be no stoppers. on mediums. Smog is on his mediums. 
Turismo's and those top run mediums. Jonah is on softs. BR3-3 is in mediums, and so is Warren. So there are only a few of us, a few of the drivers out here that have got softs on right now. will be the last week of practice, folks. Until next season. Well, like, the fun's gonna go away, but, uh, the lobby will probably go away just for a little bit. I uh, will figure out a way to make it come back uh, between seasons. So we'll, we'll do some racing at some point. But it'd be nice to take a week off from racing and uh, work on uh, making cars look good. I would do a stream on Elite Dangerous, but no one likes to see me like that except for me and Melon <laughs> and Krabby. <laughs> and the very few Elite Dangerous uh, audience that I did uh, I did capture during that time during the off season. My plan was to make commanders out of all y'alls, but I actually gained some new commanders from playing. Uh, but it seems like a lot of people that watch this stream were old commanders. kind of cool to get all of us on that game. It'd be dope. We have a whole armada 
of Gran Turismo Commanders. We're gonna fly around the universe and blow other people, blow other arm armadas up. <laughs> Though you always would get diced up if uh, you met up against my Anaconda. I think the only other person that would have a ship more powerful than mine would be a uh, TMK R77. He's got a pretty, pretty vast arsenal of weapons on his ship. <laughs> It's like a three second gap here. Winter storm warning, dude. Be careful in Teleon. Yeah, you shouldn't be concentrating on um, Gran Turismo. You should make sure that you're going to be okay during this winter storm. about halfway through the race, so let's look at Fireware. Nezimia Tenza. Looks pretty good. Jammy looks uh, pretty good. Nezimia looking much better. That's to be expected out of that uh, Mazda. Uh, PCK attack in the... Um, BMW doesn't look too bad. Scott's got the uh, vet out there. It's looking pretty alright. Tire wear. The Ace is going to go in for pits. And Miata looks pretty alright in the Viper. Turismo looking pretty almost the same between the two. Between the Viper and the Supra. Tire wear looks almost virtually the same. Uh, suede in the vet. Looking damn good. Very nice. Good way to keep your tires, my friend. Uh, BRR33 looking pretty decent in the Genesis with tire wear. Smog's tire wear is looking a little bit Warren side, but I would imagine that GT probably tears tires up like crazy because it is super fast. And then, uh, Jared, Jared's tire wear is looking pretty advanced. DA so in fresh, soft side, you took the wrong tires. Uh, TMKR 77. About the same as Jared's tire wear. Yahaha's tire wear is looking uh, pretty much where it should be if we're halfway through the race. Finesse looks like he's got fresh tires on. So let's see if Dieso can step up in the. Uh, back up. But he is on softs, though. So I think he may have taken the wrong tire. I think he took the wrong tire going into the pits here. My two Patreon members are going to battle it out here. <laughs> Freeman and Smog. Thank you guys for your support, and same with Turismo. Turismo's in here. Another Patreon member. I need to figure out where I can put that Thrustmaster deco on this car. It's such a good looking car. I'm 
so proud of those Freeman motorsports. Well, you know, I could put it, I could put it on that back, on that back other area where the Mazda is. I could put the Thrustmaster underneath there. And I'll put one on the front and on the side as well. Benezzi's our race leader in the Atenzo. Hey, what's up, CJ? It's Pack Attack. <laughs> yeah, he's in third. Pack Attack's in third. Are you racing this one, Melon? I think this is the first time I've ever seen this car on track. The M, the M, uh, was it the M3 or M4? No, that's not true. That's not true, I've seen that car before on track. Not many people drive it. Is tearing them tires up something fierce, though. Uh, required tires here are um, mediums. <laughs> I like PCK Tekka better. <laughs> but I know you have that. I know you have that. Uh, that Packers love. So I'll call it Pack Attack. I'll call it Pack Attack from now on. <laughs> yeah, mediums re require a tire. Yeso is making up spaces, but he is on the wrong tire right now. You should have been you should have went in for the mediums. I think right now he's probably testing to see whether or not the softs in the beginning or the end is working. I think that's probably what he's doing is testing beginning and end uh, strategies with softs. If if that's a viable option. Right now it doesn't seem very viable because it's a 22 second stop. Had they not changed the pit stop time, it probably would have been a one stop, but uh, they changed the pit stop time. Okay, boom. <laughs> Actually, I like, hey, boom. <laughs> Better. <laughs> It could have put an A in there, though. It would have been much easier with a pack attack, so the A could have been in there. I get it, though. Some people like to drop letters sometimes, man. I'm not going to make any judgments. <laughs> sometimes you never know with some of these uh, some of the video game names. Hey, boo! <laughs> You never know what video game names, man. People got all kinds of weird variations on the video game names. I'm probably mispronouncing half of people's video game names. And then the people that throw numbers in there, I'm like, what are those numbers for? Is that supposed to be part of the, is that like new type or what? What's, what's going on with that? <laughs> Can you do? Vanessa really nursing his tires, man. But Nessie really knows how to, to run with uh, run his tires really gently. Does a really good job of it. Let's see how fast Dieso can gain though on soft tires at the end. It's, it's he's not coming out very good. 
it's not it's not turning out very good this experiment. We've got a very, very steep uphill battle to climb here at the 15. And I don't think he's gonna He won't make it all the way up to seventh, I don't think. The ace is going to go on more time than the set of tires. Turismo. Looking good in that Supra. I'm going to come up on pack attack. Benezzi's in a, uh, is in a Tenza. He's in a Mazda Tenza. <laughs> I like Stupid Squirrel. I think it would be a dope, a dope name. <laughs> yeah, uh, Benezzi is in a Tenza. That's, this is a... The group four, group three Intenso. He's very, very, very fast driver. Really talented driver, this guy. God, he's made his way up to third from back, from the back. Those tires looking like two pieces of, four pieces of bacon. Driving around on bacon. Pretty much everyone's driving around on bacon right now. Jamie's on bacon too. Both the bets looking pretty much the same on wear. Uh, but Nezzy's wear is much better, though not by much. Pack attack. In the uh, BMW. Also looking slightly better on tire wear. Turismo Supra. better than the vets for sure on tire wear as Turismo gains on pack attack that BMW is really hurting too man look at that front left that front left is hurting Woo. so this tire this race wears at your left tires more than they are your right tires obviously because we're doing lots of uh, righties it looks like Probably all wear from a uh, centripetal force, centripetal force. So again, flung out some of these corners to the uh, left hand side. Suede is in the, uh, the vet as well, right? Is that vet? Yes. Just an A and B uh, vet tire wear. Ways is a lot better. It's interesting. I guess that's brake balance differences there. To that, I don't. Doesn't look like Suede went in for tires. It's interesting. Very interesting. BRR three three. It's just about the same amount of tire wear. This is gonna be an interesting one though. TNPR, Jared, and Benezzi are all in intensas. 
Benezzi's is still better and he's in the lead. It's Team Pierre 77's Atenza. It's Benezzi's Atenza. And this is Jared's Atenza. Mark in the vet as well. made his way up to the third. Yeah, it's interesting that certain cars, um, the same car will have different tire wear for, uh, I guess, obviously, we, you know, because of how the driver and brake balance, but uh, there's a significant difference between some of these cars. Even though they're the same car, you know, I would imagine that's setting brake balance our brake balance settings differing per car how you doing CJ by the way I don't think I, I, don't think I asked you how rude of me super rude I'm hoping you. I'm hoping wherever you are today. Oh, you're in. Uh, you're in East Cleveland. That's right. I'm hoping that you're having a good day there in East Cleveland. Or Cleveland. <laughs> Turismo putting down some nice times though. 57, 58, 59 as its tires wear on. So the Scotty's times. 58, 59, and then uh, down to two. Both jammy. Yeah, it's almost identical tire wear between the two. Between Jamie's uh, vet and Fitty's vet. Try to catch Benezzi, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Benezzi's just too far ahead at this point. And his tires are much better. <laughs> his tires are way fresher. Handled that rubber very well during this. Gas tank is a screaming, screaming at him a little bit, but I think he's got plenty enough gas to make this race. We'll go to the outside cam as everyone comes across the line here. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting bit of science here. So, in first place, will be Benezzi. Jazz, Jamie will come in second place. E brake turn. Oh, come on, man. Turismo's gonna sign the lineup for a nice one. Scotty's gonna do one way ahead of time. <laughs> Here comes Pack Attack. Sway's gonna come over. No one else is doing a e brake turn. It breaks my heart, guys. <laughs> Scotty's gonna continue to e brake turn here in front of the in burnout. <laughs> Here comes Finesse. Finesse is going to ride. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Here comes the ASO. Very nice, my friend. Good job. Good work. Uh, let's see, Sky's on the now. Scotty finally goes over the line. Just in time for Jared Freemans to come over the line and bang, cross a couple walls. And same with Bart. <laughs> it's not much this is gonna take some skill trying to get a nice a nice e brake turn around this 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 start finish line guys. As Smog almost started one but then he came across straight. 
Good race, guys. So we learned some science on that one. Scotty's right. The no, the no stop is probably be the best way to go. Well, we had to, we had to prove that point because you can't have a science experiment unless you prove it, right? Um, let's qualify. Qualifying in 11 minutes. How about that? How do you guys like that one? In 11 minutes. Well, Scott, you can't just... We have to prove it here, man. <laughs> We've got to have proof. We want to see proof. Proofs. I know it's simple math, but we want proofs. Yeah, the six seconds on penalties doesn't help. <laughs> Do we have room? Does anyone... Duck just came in the room. So we'll have to say quack the duck. Finesse left. So Michael, if you want to jump in quick, jump in. Let's quack the duck. Quack. Quack, quack, quack. Hand me out of more room. Whoever else is trying to get in, there's more room. Oh wait, hand me out of just join the room again. <laughs> yeah, see you already ran it. I had to prove to the I have to I have to show proof to my whole YouTube audience that it is a no stopper. <laughs> I wasn't doubting you, Scott. I just needed to prove it to everyone else. <laughs> you know, this is a, that's part of the education part of this show, man. <laughs> I gotta I gotta educate I gotta educate people. Uh, Mark just left. Mark, are you leaving for good? Good night, dude. There's Melon. Oh, it's always a pleasure having Benezzi. Always a pleasure. Where are you? Where'd you go? It's always a pleasure. Are you out, Jonah? All right. Good night, Jonah. I'll say good night to Jonah here. Good night, buddy. Where, where did Jonah go? Oh, good night, buddy. Uh, there is room opening up. I will save that replay. Yeah, this would be a... I did save the replay. I did save the replay. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Jared. <laughs> I just saved it. I'm going to save it again just, just to make sure. Okay. <laughs> we do have some open room now. So uh, uh, if two folks want to come in, we've got plenty of room. We'd love to have you. We don't bite. At least most of us don't. Scott might. <laughs> Okay. All right. There's Dylan D. DZD in 88 in the place to be. Yo, Dylan. Dylan, if you're online, dude, you got to watch Go Greddy's video. You're like half of it. Yeah, this is going to be a brutal race. <laughs> this is going to be a brutal race. This is going to be a brutal, brutal race. Dylan, are you on the stream? Yeah, it's going to be a tough race. It's going to be a nail butter this one. Oh, there's Stan. Pack Attack has left the room. Bye, Pack Attack. Stan. Ah. Uh. Banducci. Good evening, my friends. Good evening. My friend. Uh, we were qualifying in seven minutes. 
That would be helpful information. Seven minutes. Ten. To everyone that's entering the room, uh, Danny GT67, we've seen before. So we'll say good afternoon. Good to see you again. I did save the replay. <laughs> I did save the replay. Thank you for reminding me, everyone. <laughs> I did save the replay. This uh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a brutal race, I think. It's gonna be a tough one for me because I'm gonna have to try to uh, just manage staying in people's uh, jet streams. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> I wish. They totally nu nuked the pit stop, man. Are you out, Jared? Good night, Jared. Good night, my friend. Good night, Jared. Have a good night, dude. Shake, uh, shake Jonah's hand for me for being uh, such an awesome racer. I wish I'd gotten that first replay because it had like all three of us in a spot. <laughs> no, your tires look pretty dead, Turismo. <laughs> your tires look pretty dead. Yeah, mine's, uh, my tire wear's gonna probably be pretty bad around here. Yep, yeah, no stop on medium tires on this one. So qualify and soft and pop back into the, uh, the, the pit and put on your mediums. Dude. Same here. PFC two twelve. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Private First Class 212. Private First Class 2012. We are qualifying in three minutes. You know what's been nice this season? I'm going to tell you what's been the nicest thing this season. Because I've had to do it at least once per season so far is screaming at people to stop racing like they're in a race. <laughs> I haven't had to do it once this season. If you're a long time viewer, which I probably not because I've just gained all of you guys pretty much in the last couple months. Um, last season, I, I swear it was every, every one, there was always one race where I'd have to scream at people to stop racing and ramming each other. <laughs> I think people are finally getting it. It's nice. It's nice not have to do that. <laughs> I know, I know. All the races are so close on fuel consumption too. All the races. Oh. 
All right, Sway. Are all the are all is all of USGT leaving? Peace out, USGT. Sway, take it easy. Y'all are. Oh, there's Krabby. All the USGT guys, peace out, my friends. It's good always always good having you guys. Big love to y'alls. I know, I would have loved to have pit too. I like the pit stops. Crab, 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 crab. Crabster's in the room. Uh, I will run this stupid race. Yeah, I would have liked to have done a pit stop. I mean, this by by most means should have been a pit stop race if they had gotten the um <laughs> you know it's like it's almost like they they could have all been pit stop races and some of the cars are almost running out of gas at the point that, you know, you come to the end of the race. So all they had to do was put the, um... Alright, Turismo. Peace out, man. Good night, dude. Hold on. Let me say Turismo good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm sure we'll see the fish at some point tonight. Thanks for stopping in, guys. All Team ESGT, you guys are, you guys are, 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 are heroes. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have to talk more on the YouTube channel, by the way. Krabby, why'd you leave? Krabby came in for like a split second and left. I don't know why. Krab doesn't like us anymore. Krab has found another little place to hang out. <laughs> Take it easy, my friend. I'm sure we'll see fish later on tonight. I'm hoping fish comes on later on tonight. I like racing with fish. Not like I don't racing with you, I don't like racing with you guys, but you guys are too fast for me. <laughs> fish is still too fast for me, but I can at least kind of keep up with fish. <laughs> I can keep up with fish for about a lap or two, and then fish blows me away. <laughs>
we're not going to have enough time to run another lap because we have the mediums on. That's great. I'm never going to get a chance to run qualifying on this place, on this race. Because I'm going to have to swap out for the mediums like halfway through. Looking at a pretty full house here. About 34 seconds. We'll find out how we do in a pack. We're gonna have to uh, run with the pack. Uh, try to follow along with them. Typically do better when I'm behind people, especially on new tracks that I don't quite know. So far I'm in fifth, but that's going to change here. D throwing down a 58. Stan's gonna put a 55 in. Wow, Stan. Stan's in the clear lead with a 55. <laughs> but uh, that's what I expect out of Stan. I expect that the uh, the really really fast guys are gonna do like 54s and 53s and 55s. Somewhere between 55 and 53 is my prediction. If Stagger comes in the room, I bet you it's going to be like a 54 or 53. Because I'll be at Stan's very, 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 very fast. Stagger is probably the best barometer for, like, the really top split guys. You know, Benezzi and Stan are very, 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 very fast. But um, the speed that Stagger gets is like from another planet altogether. <laughs> from a completely different planet. That guy comes from. Yeah, that's what happens with traffic, right? So somehow I ended up in ninth. I don't know if anyone else ran. Should have probably started from the back. Because I'm just going to get pile driven by everyone else that's behind me. The one lone C in the field. Yeah, he's going to be in a spec too as well. Oh, I got a false start. start check. straight at TMK car, car's car. I was like, oh, look at that car. Squirrel. <laughs> Such a distracted video game driver. Oh, don't leave. I only just got my... Oh, there's Jason D. Jason D in the place to be. Team KR. Kill some time. 
track limit, what? What? The game put you on softs? That's a bunch of BS, man. That's lame.
find my line around here. Okay, this is a slow line. It's a line. Okay, let's start somewhere.
fire. Lost some time there. I didn't use the whole track there. Yeah, looks like I lost some.
gonna break into it. Alright, I'm gonna jump out. I'm gonna jump out and uh, watch everyone else here. Because I'm now too far behind everyone to, uh, to really learn anything about this track. I would like to actually be able to follow people. <laughs> Just to see what lines they take. I can uh, familiarize myself with the track, but I actually need to kind of have someone in front of me to show me where I'm going. This is Hemi Auto in a uh, Viper. Currently leading the race. About 1.3 seconds ahead of uh, Stan, They're very close behind. And uh, I believe it's a Jaguar. Try to stand us. Yep, Jaguar. Jammy is about seven seconds behind. Yep. If you're watching, Chris, yes, it is another no stop. <laughs> this is another no stop. This is another sprint race. Luis from Brazil is in the room. Brazil. Pounded into Brazilian steak yesterday <laughs> at Bathurst. <laughs> I, I, I did have one driver that I did ride, drive behind who figured it out after a while that I was bump drafting him the whole time. <laughs> but then he went into the pits and I was like, don't go to the pits, dude. Come on, I need your. We were finally starting to catch up when I was bump drafting him. Let's take a look on the outside here. Oh, the least left the room. I don't know if you're on stream, Luis. I got pounded yesterday, man. Pounded. Three races. Three races again. Tenderized yesterday, man. <laughs> no more, man. No more. I think Luis might be having connection problems. Standing, standing, uh, heavy out or going out of here. Ten versus V8 here. Stan might come up on top. Um, that V8's um, not as uh, the V8's a little more spry than the V10 here, as far as uh, getting into the corners and having all that. Yeah, this is a no stop. This is a no stop. I thought you tested this a couple weeks ago, Chris. Yeah, this is most definitely a no stop. We confirmed it last race. We had our suspicions, and then we confirmed it last race that this is definitely a nice stop.
I mean, honestly though, it isn't a bad no stop because at least the corners aren't, you know, at least we're not brass and stuff to worry about. Well, tire options to trick people into going into no stop. <laughs> It is nice to qualify in the softs, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's going to happen again to Jason in the next race for you. You're going to pick up a bunch of spots because everyone in D-Lobby is like, Oh, soft tires. <laughs> we're gonna, we can use our soft tires. Everyone in D-Lobby is going to be like, Oh, I'm going to stop. This one especially, I guarantee you everyone in D-Lobby stops. I guarantee you it. Because no one in D-Lobby can race on tires like Stan's tires right now. They'll be sliding and slipping all over the place. They'll let, it, they'll let that tire wear me uh, measurement get to them and like start sliding all over the place. <laughs> Now the, the medium, the worn mediums aren't bad. Not with these types of turns. They, they don't feel that bad. Oh yeah, I mean that's what the vets are gonna do though. The vets aren't typically really good with the tires. The Ace is sharing up his 911 tires, the RSR tires, too. Look at that wear on the Ace's tires, man. Dang, dude. Save Scott's tires and Jamie's tires. Scott's tires are just a slightly better. The Ace seems to be really struggling trying to keep that car on, on the track. I wonder what tire tire balance is. Looks like he's going for rear tire, rear brake balance. Yeah, the mediums feel really good on lap five. Yeah, I'm guessing the Ace is on, on a, a rear brake mount, rear bias right now for brake mounts. So the, the rear left looks really bad right now. That wouldn't be bad with a nose stop if they didn't make the modifier so damn bad. And the modifier is at plus eight right now, so maybe if the modifier is a plus six it'd be alright. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man, I hope they realize that they really messed up with the pit stop. The pit stop because uh, really this should be a one stop this race should be a one stop if, if the pit loss wasn't so damn bad everyone would be going to the pits if it was a regular pit loss you know Let's watch as everyone goes across the line here's ducky will come in third jammy will come in very close behind him Scotty will come in fifth. Three vets all in a row. Scotty will pull off a nice 360 there. Uh, Deace will come in in sixth. Nice straight on attack there. Danny GT67. Coming seventh. Eighth will be PFC 2K12. 
with uh, Smog and uh, Dylan coming in 9th and 10th. Both putting off really nice, uh, looked like a, looked like a nice uh, handbrake turn. <laughs> we, like, we love the handbrake turns here. Alright. Stan, uh, not surprisingly, takes the, takes the win. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't seem like the the mediums drop off that badly. The, the drop off is is looks worse than it actually is. Let's see, let's see to Luis. All right, um, and then Chris came in. I think we all are DA, so. I already said hi to you, Chris. <laughs> Let's qualify in 10 minutes, guys. I'm just trying to stuff as many races as we can in. Romania has come into the room with Rialu. Good evening, my friends. I'm sure we're losing uh, in here and uh, on a uh, information gathering tour. No stop. Stop on mediums. You're gonna try reverse next race. Yeah, it's you don't you don't feel the wear as bad on this track. At least I I my tires didn't feel like that. I, I only quit out because I, I was too far behind anyone to follow. But um but it doesn't feel terrible on the no stop. Had they kicked the the gas modifier up just a little bit, then people would have been forced to stop, and I think that would have been cool. But with a modifier where it is, it's like, why? You know, <laughs> why? Why even put the modifier that close to the point where you could possibly stop for gas? All right, Smog, have a good dinner. are too long for a side. You can't stop here. Oh, well, you're most by yourself by there? Which one? Which which car are you, CJ? Andre's in the room. Yeah, your tires, your tires are looking pretty, uh, pretty worn out there, Smog. Oh, you're, you're, you're a PFC 22K2. Okay, okay, all right. I was trying to figure that out. I was like, private first class 2012. Is that what that means? <laughs> Every time I see the letters PFC, I think of private first class. <laughs> That's because I grew up around a bunch of Marines my whole life, so. Yeah, it's going to be a no-stop. I mean, we kind of knew that last night. 
But we had to kind of test it to see, make sure that it was. <laughs> that's that was a that was a deal. You were up there pretty high, uh, CJ. <laughs> you just like acronyms? <laughs> Yeah, you don't have for private first classes, right? <laughs> oh, you didn't? <laughs> Hopefully, um, hopefully, um, Stagger will come in smog, and if Stagger comes in, then I'll just, I'll, I'll, um, I'll spect spectate so you can at least watch and see what Stagger does in his Ford. Aside from destroy the rest of the, <laughs> the lobby. <laughs> I'm hoping Stagger does come in. Because I would like to see what line he puts around, too. Yeah. We know the strat is just don't destroy your tires all the way through the race. That's the only strat. But even, like, worn down, it doesn't seem like the tires are doing that bad. You know? I think people are hitting walls because of uh, track... Um, just not knowing the track very well, but it seems like everyone is still putting up... I was looking at times, and the times aren't really dropping off that much. There might be, like, a half-second drop-off between, like, lap 7 and lap uh, 14, but it's not that much. Not with these types of turns. You know, you're already braking and, and turning most... You're probably losing most... Especially the heavy turns, you're braking you know, in a straight line. Yeah, go fast, don't hit the wall. Yeah, I think you're gonna be okay in the B lobby. Yeah. Or you just keep it at like a neutral or you, you keep it at like minus one or plus one during the whole time, you know? And just slowly change it over the course of the, I think you'll I might actually run with a zero and see what happens. And just even it out. You know, just run at zero and see what, which which side which one wears that faster. I tried minus two and minus two seemed like it was uh, wearing on my rear super fast. This might be another minus one or minus plus one situation. <laughs> I mean, I'll always start the Porsche off at a minus, um, just because the Porsche usually works, especially the RSR works better at a minus. Uh, I've been noticing that the minus is actually running the backs more. Or maybe it's reverse with this car. I can't remember, man. It's been like months before. It's been like weeks since I've actually driven this car at its full speed. The last time I drove this car at full speed was before Spa, and that was like Interlagos. It's been like six weeks. It's been like six weeks since I've driven this car at full speed. 
<laughs> so I don't even remember with this one. Hell, we've done so many group. This must. This is. This season should have just been called the Group Four season, because we've done so many Group Four races this season. All right, Jamie, go ahead and uh, enter because we're about to start. Enter your car. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. We might not do the whole race. Jamie, you're racing? Are you racing on this one? Just make sure my car settings are right. All right, here we go. We're all in. All right. That's all good. That's all good. All good. No need to. No worries. Everyone remember to put your mediums on like one lap through. <laughs> remember, you're not going to get a chance to put your mediums on. So put your mediums on. Run one lap and then put your mediums on. Now with five minutes of qualifying time, we're not going to be able to do it. That's what's going to suck this week. We're never going to be able to practice like qualifying times this week. You know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to I'm just going to put my mediums on now. I'm just going to start from the back. Cuz I just want to follow people right now. I don't want to race races. I want to watch what everyone else is doing on their line. It'll also give me time to go 10-1. So I'm going to go 10 to 1 real quick. I'll be back in a second. So, geez, still got two minutes left. Dang. So hopefully we can just uh, follow behind people and not hit any walls. Looks like Melon, uh, Melon's gonna take the first spot. Uh, Andre's gonna take a second part, a second spot. Third will be uh, the ace, though. Um, who's in fourth? Well, we can't really look at it. Well, we'll look at it later. 
We'll all figure it all out later. <laughs> We've had three back-to-back uh, -back packed lobbies. I think everyone was looking forward to Tokyo. I do like looking at my uh, RSR from this point of view. I don't think I'm going to update my cars for the next season. I think I might keep both of my cars the same. Because honestly, it's been a short season, so neither one of them has really... Um, I've never, I haven't really like bonded with these cars just yet. <laughs> Dan will put a 55 in. Still behind Melon. I'd like to see what Melon's time was. Ooh, that popped up good. A little pain in the shoulder again. shoulder. Just uh, also affecting my driving here. Jason and I will be uh, back in the back here, following with the rest of everyone else here. Jason and I will pull up the rear, and uh, I would imagine both of us are going to probably do, be doing a lot of following, as um, I don't have much track knowledge of this place and uh <laughs> I would hope I hope there's not gonna be any wall riding here. That that wall riding junk is dirty. <laughs> Hopefully we can keep up with the pack so we can at least get an idea of what what to expect. That's what my my instinct is to just follow people and not really do many passes. I just want to see what everyone does. Uh, remember there's a false start check here. So uh, TCS up to five for the start.
looking around there. barbecue meat right now. <laughs> My delicious barbecue meat. <laughs> right into that damn wall. <laughs> enough straight away to pass on. What's up, 40?
try plus one. Or minus one, sorry. I didn't want to send him to the wall. I get that last for it.
two minute mark here. Started the day five seconds slower. We've already knocked off about five seconds worth of time, so that's a good thing. journeys and anything else. Get into the, the meat and bones of the race later on in the week. with a guy torn, ro torn rotated cuff sitting in a bar stool playing bush control. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing too bad myself. All things considered. Thanks, Mark. <laughs>
broke way too late.
asking a lot from the rear tires. So, once you start getting those rear tires, dead, you really can't ask too much from them. We're uh, breaking uh, bias to the front. We'll switch to the rear now. Switch to a uh, minus one or plus one, somewhere around mid race. Now my rears are really shot. At least the left one is looking pretty bad. And I've been pretty, I've been taking it pretty easy. Trying to learn the track. Back in line, step out. I saw it there. Yep. Back in's trying to step out on me. Turn. I'm sure there is one. 
since I've not discovered it yet because I'm still trying to figure this track out. Slow learner. Not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I wanted to watch Einstein pick the wrong channel. Perfect. Did hit a wall. <laughs> Did a full 360. Right in the middle of the track. <laughs> What's up, Ikaika? Still have Samsung. Oh well, I don't I don't know if that was on purpose, Chris. Okay, it just came in. Came out to red. Yes, I did non stop. Hold on. Qualifying. And if he does it here, Chris, he's gonna honestly do it to you in real life, so. <laughs> yeah, the front of your car probably looked pretty bad. <laughs> so tell, did you get did you get taken by someone with a penalty? Well, I mean you just gotta remember this isn't a race, guys. This is the practice. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. The, where you end up doesn't really matter. You know, this is this is more of like practice time. So if someone with a penalty ahead of you finishes ahead of you, you know, that's what they do. Yeah, everyone, everyone stops sending people. Everyone calm down, it's just practice, man. I'm gonna start issuing lobby warnings here. Don't, don't, don't make me start kicking people out. <laughs> it is a grid start. It is a grid start, Mark. It's a grid start with a false check on this one. Sure as hell ain't gonna win nothing from me because I ain't gonna give you all no prizes. <laughs> sure as hell ain't gonna win nothing from me. Yeah, everyone stop driving like morons. Just keep your cool. Let me start regulating again, because then I, then I get really mad and angry, and then I just shut shit off.
I'm gonna shove my break balance all the way to two. Yeah, the false check, the false start check, the false start check, just um, throw your traction control all the way up. You can rev at the very beginning, just have your finger, your finger on the brake, and then uh, put your uh, put your traction control up at at least three. And then as soon as you get going, just shut your contract traction control completely down. So you gotta wait for the green, release your brake, traction control all the way up, and then as you get going, shut your crowd traction control off. It's actually kind of fun. All right, I'll have to, I'll have to spectate this one because everyone's ramming everyone. Has forced me to goddamn spectate. All right, now I'm forced to spectate. All right, I get to practice because everyone's hitting people. <laughs> All right, I guess I don't get practice. y'all it's not for me I guess so <laughs> yeah just like some sort of traction control is on you know just as long as a little bit of traction control is on I don't know man I'm just gonna watch this race because apparently I have to So, I'll just suffer. That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure everyone wants to watch um, other people do the laps too, so... We'll do that. I'm gonna probably take a smoke break while you guys do uh, qualifying. Yeah, one's enough. One's just enough. You know, whatever. Just as long as you have your traction control on for that, for that beginning. You know, just something, something to keep you from spinning out. So, Jason, when you do it, I don't know if you've ever done one. Like I said, you know, just rev the hell out of your car with your brake finger on your brake. Have your traction control set to like one or whatever, and then just drop it as soon as your car gets going. But make sure you don't, you don't go before the green light drops. That's when you get the, the, the false check, the false start check. Well, he's been clean other times, Chris. He's been clean most every other time he's come in here, so. But I'll sit out on this one. I'll sit out. Because I have to. You guys will do qualifying. I'm going to smoke a cigarette while you guys qualify. And then, uh... Yeah, just don't jump the start. Don't jump the start. Whatever you do, don't jump the start. Because then you'll get, a, you'll get the false start check.
this will be another spectate race for me. Are you on the bends now? The bends, I like the bends. I think there are people that do really well in the bends. I've seen the bends do really well. You know, that's another one of those cars that if you can drive it really well, then you're really, really good at it. Kind of like the Mustang. The Mustang, if you're really, really good at it, then you end up being amazing at it. But it isn't a car for everyone. You know, it's not it's not a car everyone's gonna drive. You know, that's like a Porsche, the Porsche, the Jag, the Aston, and the Atenza seem to be like whoops, like the four like really most common cars that I see. And the Vet, for some weird weird reason, is also a very popular car. I mean, I, I would imagine like the group four, the group three is probably super fast, but I've heard a lot of people complain about the group four ones. So at least since they've they've hammered it. Because from what I understand, they've they've really they've really hammered that car. All right. You guys are gonna go qualify. I'm gonna go. I wanna make sure that the grid gets off fine. I will go smoke a cigarette. Kids don't smoke, don't ever start smoking. It's probably the two stupidest thing we could ever do. Um, but I'm going to do that between breaks here. I probably won't even say that I'm smoking anymore. I'm just going to say I'm taking a break. <laughs> so from now on, when I take a break, everyone that knows, knows. But I'm never, I'm not going to condone cigarette smoking. Alright. I am out. I will be back in just a second.
I am back. So we sit here and watch Chris do donuts. here. It's like Tyrath. It's got that really loud sounding 787B copycat. Very nice. Uh, Ken Lebs isn't that really beautifully done Rossman's uh, copycat. Looks like he's kind of still working on it. Still doing donuts. Ducky is uh, slowly going around the track. Looks like he's finished. And uh, Mark is going around in that um, really beautifully done. Oh, look at this one. God, that's, so, that's nice. It's a very nice looking uh, livery, Mark. It's a really, really good looking car. I wish I could see it slow. <laughs> slow motion. We gotta get this quite, sort of a good look at it as it goes by the screen. How are you doing tonight, 40? You coming in here for a race or what? Oh, we got some Romanian sponsors on uh, on Rilu's car, so we're gonna have to take a look at that one. I do like the grid start because you get to see everyone at the grid. You don't get to see this much. Not everyone is trained on the grid start, as we see here. Pretty cool to see all the cars coming around the bend, though. I'm trying to figure out a car to watch this all from. Everyone kind of spins out, and there's a destruction derby at the, uh, the old docks. <laughs> Most people, I, I like the cockpit view. <laughs> there, we'll get some uh, heat from the, the Frenchman right behind. Alright, Jamie. What type, of, what type of music does your band do? 
What do you play? Good night. Good night, though, Jamie. What do you play? What, what instrument do you play? And what type of music does your band do before you leave? Because I'd like to hear it. You guys are rocking out on them, that like button, dude. Got eight likes, man. That's dope. I miss being in a band. Sometimes. <laughs> I play more of a support role in the band because I'm a bass player. No one ever pays attention to the bass player. Oh, that's right. That's right. You spent twenty-two hundred dollars on that thing. <laughs> Congratulations, man. I want to hear your. I want to hear your all's uh, band. Forgot about that. How does the Les Paul play? I would imagine like a dream. Although a very heavy dream, a dream nonetheless. <laughs> it's like having a 20 pound baby on your, on your shoulder. That's what I guess. what I guess. But have a good night, my friend. Have a good band rehearsal, too. Too bad that there's an, um, a Les Paul emoji. That looks like a Strat emoji. <laughs> get it so dirty. Is it, uh, I'm guessing this is your first band practice with the Les Paul. I'm not that cool. I'm not even that good of a guitar player. I'm a, I'm a bass player, so <laughs> I play the bass player. I play the guitar like I play the bass. I'm one of them bass player guitar guys. <laughs> you can always you can always tell the difference between a bass player and a guitar player whenever they pick up each other's instruments. Yo, podium! Yeah, you should come in and hang out, dude. It shouldn't be a bad race podium. Yeah, there's a vet right now. There are a couple vets. You want to look at them? Zero's in a vet. Um, and so it's Scott, who we're watching right now, is in a bed. Uh, oh, very nice. The 20 minute solo in Purple Rain. The podium, this is a non stop on mediums. Um, qualify with softs. And you're going to want to be putting around like eh, somewhere in like 55, 56. Somewhere between like 56 and 58. It's kind of the average right now. Um, tire wear is going to be a bit of an issue with the vet toward the end. Uh, but as long as you got your uh, your braking points and stuff figured out, you should be all right. Uh, the tire wear isn't that bad. It doesn't feel that bad. It doesn't feel terrible until you get to that lap. Um, Yeah, brake balance plus three-ish in the vet. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Jamie here. 
and Hans, Hans uh, is also a, a vet driver, so pick his brain. He was leading for a lot of the races, so or at least in the top like five. But it seems like a lot of the, all, a lot of the vet guys are going plus you know plus three or four in the in, in the uh, in the rear to the rear. Put you in uh, this one. Just watch this line for a little bit. Why are you competing with the big YouTubers, man? <laughs> yeah, but then you end, up, you end up competing with me, Antonio, because <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't stream during that time because of the big YouTubers either. Dang, dude, you eat a lot of steak, bro. But I like it. <laughs> I like it. You're living high on the hog, man. As I like it. <laughs> I like it. You ain't gonna cut that steak in half. Don't cut that steak in half. At least cook it full. Or else you lose, you lose the essence. You gotta cook it as a whole steak. Oh, are you cooking on the grill? Or you doing it on a on a on a, uh, a cast iron grill, gr uh, cast iron pan? I'm hoping you do it on cast iron pan if you're doing this side, because that's the only way to do it. I honestly prefer the cast iron pan over everything now. Yeah. Oh, that's all good, man. I'm just a tidy YouTuber anyway, dude. You, you got more subscribers than I do. <laughs> you got way more subscribers than I do. I'm just a tiny YouTuber that can't... Yeah, you're a good man. Cast iron pan's the only way to go. I almost prefer the cast iron pan over the grill now. Yeah, I know. It's been a long day, dude. I've had some conferences in the morning and... Uh, I know, dude. You're up at 263 now. I'm almost about to hit 200. I'm like seven away from 200. Yeah. But I got my, my Patreons now blowing up. I've got three Patreon. I'm, I, this is my time to say hi, hi to all my Patreon subscribers again. I got uh, Smog Baxter, who I think is in... No, Smog is eating dinner right now. I got uh, Turismo, USGT, Team USGT shout out, and... Jared, Jared Freeman's now our Patreon members. And uh, I think I should be getting my wheel from uh, Team USGT this week. So I'm just excited about that. I'll finally be, have a wheel. <laughs> Maybe people will watch me more if I have a wheel. <laughs> finally get off of my motion control. We're gonna get you on that Discord, man. You see how much fun we got on our Discord. You should drop by my Discord and uh, get an idea of how to set up your Discord. Now that you're on Discord, drop into mine. Check how it, how it's kind of laid out. Thank you, my friend. I told um, Miss Tara too to take a look at my Discord and how it's set up. I don't know if she's modding your Discord or not. But uh, we're, we, all have a, we have a ton of fun in my Discord, dude. We have a ton of fun in my Discord, so... Take a look. Oh, look at them likes! I'm at 10 likes now! A word? <laughs> yeah, I told Miss... I gave Miss Tara an invite to my Discord so she can take a look and see how everything is kind of set up in mine. And then I'll walk you... I can walk you through all the roles and stuff, too. If you have the time to sit down and, and I can walk you through some of what I know how to set up the roles and and how to because you you know you want to make sure that everyone it doesn't turn into the wild west in your Discord let's put it that way <laughs> you gotta give people rules man <laughs> you gotta give people rules or else they just run amok <laughs> they just do whatever they want but no seriously we should uh, we should conference at some point in time if you have time this week and I'll help you uh, set your Discord up. 
11 likes. A word. <laughs> a word. You guys are you guys are killing the likes. You guys are the best. You got the best audience, man. I might not be the best driver, but I got the best audience. <laughs> Podium, good night, dude. Have a good night. Eat a steak. Eat a steak, take a shower. You deserve that steak today, my friend. Nice fatty steak. Nice caramelized fat. My favorite cut's the prime rib. I like, I like the pro. Prime rib's my favorite. Magnifique. As my French, said, French friends would say. No, you can do it a lot with the New York Strip and the, uh, the shank steak. The prime rib is probably my favorite. Because you got all that fat and all that, uh, all that marbling going on. That's, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. You want to know a secret? 40, this will help you if you like steak. Ralph's around 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock will mark all of their prime ribs down to like super, super cheap. So if you're ever looking to get a cheap prime rib and you've got a Ralph's next to you that's open like to at least midnight, go then because that's when you get your nice, nice steaks. I'm the same way, Rilu. I've been kissing the wall all night. But I'm watching people's lines right now just to see what people are doing to avoid having to kiss the wall. Looks like Prima's uh, doing the, some buff drafting. Trying to nudge... Uh, Nudge both of these cars, both Chris and uh, him, to uh, up to the uh, one and two here. Yeah, I'm really off the pace here. Uh, that should change, man. We've only been racing this track now for what? three hours, <laughs> so I've only done about maybe two races so far, so uh, my, I have been improving my times though, so like here, here is like, you know, the perfect sweet spot, it's like 157 to 159, once your tires drop off, about 159, anything above that, you're probably going a little too slow. Which I need to improve on. Stuck in auto drive now, Mark? What the hell's up with that? And there's no audio coming from your car. That's so. You're completely glitched out right now, Mark. Yeah, look, look at this. Look at this. No, no sound from Mark's car is now running on electric power. <laughs> Mark, you're on you're on the power of you're, you're running on electric power now. You've got no sound. I can't hear you. 
Can't hear nothing out of this car. Well, Chris, if people are doing this in practice, just to just wait till the race. Then you're gonna run into a bunch of a-holes. All you a guys drive like maniacs, man. <laughs> Yeah, wait to the actual race, man. It's gonna be even worse. <clears throat> Honestly, I think I think most people don't even understand. We got two French guys in here. I don't know if they're, I'm not sure if they understand English. <laughs> I'm not sure if they do or not. Especially after watching those nations races, man. Holy smokes, dude. You would have thought your the A lobby was a D lobby. Even like in the EMEA at Bathurst with the Keys? Keys race? Dang, dude. Man, I got battered around. Strategy's been no stop. No stop on the mediums. You want to be putting in about a 58 or 57? You know, you want to kind of be in that area? Although Stan came in and did like a 55, I think. 55 or 56 for his qualifying lap. But he was qualifying on softs. Oh, I had plenty of issues. <laughs> I had plenty of issues, man. You got two cars that are disappeared. Which ones are disappeared? I see all of them. Except Mark's car, which is running on, um, running on, uh, the power of energy right now. <laughs> Just, you, you don't hear anything from his car. Uh, Scott's sitting on the side of this. Are you glitched out, Scott? I don't even see your car here. Ah, so Scott's another one that's, that's glitched out. I don't even hear your car. Weird. That's really weird. Uh, well, 157.57 in free practice means that you're doing about a 158. Yeah. You know, and that's another thing that I've realized sometimes. When the lobby glitches, sometimes people don't see other people's cars. <laughs> Case in point, Nordschleife of last year, or last season, when Scott was getting continually rammed by someone, but he had no idea they were even there. That, that I don't think is a new bug, really, because it's... It, it's, this is kind of what happened at the Nordschleife as well. We've had this glitch. I've had this silent bug glitch for a while now. I, I've seen this before. This this one. I saw this last season at Nordschleife, I believe. The Nordschleife was probably like the glitchiest race last season. But last Nordschleife was also the glitch where people would literally not see other people on the track. Because they weren't showing up for them on the track, which is the weirdest thing. They showed up for me, 
but they wouldn't show up for other racers. Just like the weirdest glitch ever. Yeah, there are, there are a couple of the, the other the other bug that happens, and I'm waiting for it to happen now, is where the car drives underneath the track for a while while I'm spectating, and then all of a sudden it'll pop up onto the track and like do a jump and pop up and land on the track. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Lobbies aren't a real precise work of science here. It's funny how buggy this is like one of the used, most used parts of the game, and it's, it's like the most buggiest. It's kind of a shame. I'm hoping in the next. I'm hoping in the next, um, what am I checking for? Oh, I'm okay to receive a friend request. Who's friend requesting me? Yeah, sure. That's a good enough for person, it seems like. Uh, now you guys are sending me pictures. Are you stuck in the pit right now, Scott? That's weird. And your car is... That's, uh, that's weird. What are, you, what are you sending me a picture of, really? Oh, that's even weirder. Do you have your EV set up really high? That's really odd, dude. It's so weird. Yeah, I like that one. I've seen that one. We saw that one in the Nordschleifer as well. <laughs> that was another one I saw at the Nordschleifer, was the one where the car ascends into the heavens. <laughs> and the... And, 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 uh, and it just just keeps on going. It's like a yeet. It's like a yeet. Like a yeet's off into the heavens. <laughs> it wouldn't let you leave. Should I restart the lobby then? Well, let's see. Let's see if you can leave once. Let's see if it goes back to normal once the race is over. Yeah, I'll restart the lobby after the race. Well, I want to clear out whatever bug, because there's not, it's, it's like two or three cars now are bugs. So I'm going to leave and then come back in and clear out everything. We'll see if that solves the problem. I doubt it will, but... Yeah, ha, ha. 
Where's Mark? Mark left already. Oh wait, let's see it from Jack's side. <laughs> Mark is like Wonder Woman right now. He's driving in the invisible car. There it goes! <laughs> it also has no engine noise. It's just like we're watching the wind right now. <laughs> Mark, you're like the wind. <laughs> Your car is like the wind. There it goes, the wind. Oh, we heard a little bit of it there. Listen to the wind. This is a fast wind going through the track. He's like a ghost car. Ah, the wind. <laughs> Mark has become a fast-moving wind through the through the track. Oh, it's hilarious. I love this. <laughs> you like the winds. <laughs> I love it. Listen, you don't even hear the car. You see it there. Hold on. Wait till he gets to the straights. Mark, you gotta go fast. I want to hear this thing. We're getting entertained. Glitch. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> so not only like his tires, Mark is also physically gone from the track. <laughs> but he's in the he's in he's in the race in spirit, guys. <laughs> Mark is racing in spirit. <laughs> That's good. I love it. I love it. I love these glitches. Some of them can be really, really um, terrible, but this one's actually pretty endearing. <laughs> I like it. Here comes the wind. You can hear it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Just when you think you've seen all seen all the bugs, something like this shows up. Like I've seen this one before. Like this isn't new. This this is something that I've we've seen before. This, however, is totally new. <laughs> You're like a Shiraco. A fast moving wind across the desert. <laughs> if you guys didn't know that's what Shiraco means. It's a fast moving wind across the desert. Volkswagen names all of the most of their cars against like the golf is actually a wind. Um, Shiraco's the wind. I believe the Toreg is also a wind. There, there, there are quite a few cars in the Volkswagen lineup that are named after winds. If you guys ever wondered what a Shiraco was and why the hell J Volkswagen named a car after Sh Shiraco. Yeah, that's my new thumbnail for tomorrow. <laughs> Mark just not being there. People are like, what? <laughs> what? Alright. Let me tell everyone I need to reboot the room.
So everyone come back. Comes a full room reboot. I'm jumping out. Everyone else jump out. Okay. Does Simi really mean R S Windy Valley? Interesting. I didn't know that. I thought that was like a um a, a made a Native American tribe, but I guess. Ooh, what's that one car? What is that car? What's that car? That flat pancake car. Oh, well, we got a Clio. I'll take a Clio. Sure. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, let me clear the cash out. See my disappointing C. Alright. Maybe this will work. Hopefully this will work. You just got the Clio too? So the tribe was probably named after. Okay, that's what I thought. The, you know, I thought it was named after a tribe, but I didn't know the tribe meant Windy Valley. Ooh, look at my sparkly paint. It looks so good. I'm gonna turn my EV all the way up. Cause that this is another problem I'm having is seeing crap on this track. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn my EV up a little bit more. Oh, there's Mikey. There you are. I'm gonna put my EV. What was your EV up to, Rialu? We'll do the next one in like 12 minutes, right? We'll let the people that, um... There's Miguel. Always good to see Miguel. We gotta give Miguel our other, other Californian. Yo, Long Beach. What's that? Gotta give my boys out in the LBC a shout out. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was another um, Romanian. That isn't Romania, though. That's. That's another um, country. <laughs> uh, plum. And Mad Mike. And. Um, who else came in? Oh, Muskoka. Misfit. Pyrus HIV 97, alright. <laughs> Qualifying in 10 minutes. Mm. 
Ah, oh, it's Colombian. Uh, break balance here. Oh, Mark got the Stratos. Dope. Dude, but I've been trying to get the Stratos for a while now. Oh, wait a minute. I have gotten the Stratos. I think I did get the Stratos finally. But it was too late because I already bought it. Smog, uh, break balance should be... I don't know, Scotty. What do you think Smog should say as a break balance? I think Scotty said something about your break balance earlier. Oh, come on, Mikey. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, all right. So wait. Oh, okay. So the shoe. So it was a shoe mash word then. Smogs in the GT. Romania is no France and. Well, you're slow because you haven't figured out the track yet, Mike. Or Mar Mark. Mark. <laughs> yep. No stop on the mediums. Where did Mikey go? Yes. No stop. Medium. Already. You haven't learned the track yet, Mark. Once you learn the track, it'll be fast. What's wrong with my livery? Are you running your my livery? You've been running, they only have my liveries, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> oh, what did I call Mark? What did I call Chris Mark, Mike? <laughs> I just got Mikey the fist on, on, on the uh, on the mind right now. That's all you've got for your Genesis, <laughs> my two liveries. <laughs> here. A little bit of wall scraping. Don't be scraping at my car, man. <laughs> oh, Scotty's got the uh, Aston out. Showing some British pride. What else do we got out here? Mikey's driving a... Ooh, Mikey's driving a vet. Ooh, fancy. Mikey's got the vet out here. Yeah, it's 22 seconds. Six seconds. Either way, it's too long.
Uh, we will try running this one. <laughs> Gonna go AFK mileage mileage farming. <laughs> okay. It was good having you, Relu. I, I hear someone else's wind going by. Someone else is winding. <laughs> I hear it go by in my, my headphones. Who is that winding? I hear it. I hear the wind going by. Mog, have you figured out what car you want to run next season? I keep on asking because you know that's part of your um, that's part of your Patreon deal is that you get a car, you get two cars, you get a lifetime full of cars actually. <laughs> You got three to the rear now? I'm gonna probably run. I'm gonna try two to the rear this time. I think. Because at zero, I was getting really a, a lot of wear on the back. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try two this time around. I might even try three this time around. That's a nice Patronus livery. Very Lewis Hamilton though. Not green. Everyone's got such nice looking cars on the track. Everyone all dressed up for Sunday Sunday dinner. That that's probably the best looking car. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. There are plenty of other beautiful cars out here. That's just me. Oh, uh oh, Zatel looks like he's gonna be the wind. Oh wait, no, maybe maybe Zatel is a Zatel might be the wind. Guys, Zatel might not show up in y'all's races. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the softs. Try to put a all right lap in. Ah, forget it. I'm just gonna go on the mediums. I'm not gonna qualify. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be be in the back like usual. The Mason coat. I've never even been to those. What are the? Where are those? You know where I want to go? I want to go to the um, Winchester Mis Mystery Mansion. I want to go to the Winchester Mystery Mansion. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. You know, you get a lifetime full of cards. If you do the, the highest tier, which Smog did yesterday, you, I, give you a li I give you both your Group 3 and Group 4 cars and a lifetime worth of... As long as I, I, I can handle it. <laughs> a lifetime worth of liveries from me. <laughs> That's part, and then you get a mug, and then you get a t-shirt, and all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna change that though, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give the people that are Patreon, upper level Patreon members, funner stuff as well. Yeah, you get more than two, you get your group three and group four car. And then, uh, well you got ones for free, Chris, because you just asked. I'm gonna have to start putting a kibosh on that though. <laughs> Especially if I get more Patreon members. Because people are gonna be like, wait a minute, why did I join a Patreon? That guy got a free car. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe I'll just make it so you don't get a lifetime full of free cars. For non-Patreon members. You only get you get a limit of cars. But uh both Jared and uh Small get a lifetime full of free cars. 
mainly Jared's on the lower tier. Um, but, uh, but Jared was my first Patreon member and honestly my first, um, my first viewer. So he just by default gets a free car. And his son. That's awesome, Joe. That's so awesome, dude. I'm glad it's helping people, man. I think a lot of people did well. Because they got a lot of practice last week. Yeah, you got... Scott only gets livery shamed and, and, for, and livery's forced on to... <laughs> Scott gets free liveries because I like to beat up on him. <laughs> That's my way of saying sorry for beating up on you, beating up on you during uh, during practice. Because <laughs> I get to shame, I like to shame you. <laughs> yeah, you know I did too, Joe. I don't know if you watched my race, but I, I finally got someone that understood what I was doing. I think, I think, I think he figured it out. I think he figured it out. But I was bump drafting him the whole race. I think to start off, I think I don't think he understood what I was doing. But then, when I wasn't making any moves to pass him, just hanging out behind him and bumping him, I think he finally figured out that I was trying to get us to, to get faster. You know? Because I needed it. I needed something in front of me to cut the winds, you know? I, I knew I was faster than the dude in the corners, but as soon as it got to the straightaways, he would immediately, like, you know, pass me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like the crap sweater. But I would have, I would like to think that the crap sweater I'm giving you is actually a nice looking sweater. <laughs> it isn't just a crap sweater. But I guess that's what grandmas think too, right? Grandmas are like, oh, Scotty's really gonna like this one. But then you know you get it and it's it's kittens with a with a Santa Claus hat. Which, by the way, is not a bad sweater at all. I I would wear that with with, with uh, honor if my grandma gave me that. If I had a grandma, <laughs> all my grandmothers died before I was I was even born. So, Scotty's really gonna like this one. <laughs> that Scott, he's gonna look real sharp in this one. <laughs> He's gonna really, he's gonna really like this. He's gonna look so smart, dressed in this. But you guys call sweaters jumpers, don't you? Yeah, you're gonna have to watch the last one. I need to actually, I reminded, we did from, thanks for reminding me, I need to add that to the list of races. I have not been into the Huntington Library. I gotta check that out. Oh, you use both sweater and jumper? But you call a hoodie something else. What's the hoodie called? Is that also a jumper? I have never been to the Huntington Library. I like Huntington Beach, though. And I think the only reason I haven't been in the Huntington Library is because I usually spend time at the beach there when I'm in Huntington. Huntington's really beautiful. If it wasn't so damn far away, I would hang out and chill out there. Let me tell Wardy we just started qualifying. Oh, wait, why am I telling Smog that? No, I'm not telling Smog that. I'm telling. Where Where did he go, Wardy? Where are you? Where, where did Wardy go? Wardy just leave? Okay, Wardy just left. He's going to really like this jumper. You know what's always cracks me up, Forty? If you ever come down to Redondo Beach, we've got a really crappy little aquarium. Have you ever been to that aquarium, quote unquote? I like the, I like the fact that they call it like the Huntington or the, the Redondo Beach Aquarium, but it's like a fish tank. <laughs> it's like a fish tank at the end of the pier. It's terrible. It's the worst. 
I'm gonna have to check that out, the Huntington Library. I've never been down there. Thank you. Believe it or not, Joe, this is probably my worst livery. <laughs> Believe it or not. This one I threw together in like 15 minutes. <laughs> this is probably my simplest, worst livery. I just needed something for the season. And, and I honestly think what makes it is the, uh, the, 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 the green. The green is really, really, like, mesmerizing. <laughs> but thank you so much. Yeah, I, I, I oddly enough give me give me my worst liveries and I make everyone else's liveries much nicer than mine. This one was so simple, I just threw it together. I literally threw it together. I was like, I need something to begin the season with. And I threw this one together and I was just like, all right, this will work. <laughs> I mean, it's growing on me. I really like it now. I really, really like it now, but it's it's one of my least, like, involved liveries. Alright, we, we turned the Eevee up. I'm hoping that the, the stream doesn't freak out because my Eevee is now turned up to, like, minus, or 0 0.05. Because I'm old and I can't see crap on this track. <laughs> I'm sure Miguel's been to the the, the Redondo Beach Aquarium. <laughs> so, so bad. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. Oh, great. I got to deal with a false start. Wrong. I really hate the sound of the expansion joints because it feels it sounds like I'm hitting someone. For there, from a second there, I thought I was hitting people. Too hot. I seem to like doing that. The first lap. It's like my thing. my secret move the first lap. <laughs> in Huntington. Oh, so it's in Huntington Gardens then. Because that's out in, um, isn't that, that's out in, um, what's it called? I actually shot a, um, I for a split second worked on, um, Days of Our, no, not Days of Our Lives. I think it was the Young and the Restless, and we shot we shot a little bit out there. Huntington Gardens, I think it's called. No one track them for what? Pile on those penalties, why don't you? I didn't 
have enough penalties. Can you give me another penalty? Ocean of the Pacific, the Redondo Beach Aquarium, it's awful. <laughs> you know who's got a really nice aquarium though? The, the Science Museum's aquarium is dope. I don't think people give the Science, aqua science um, Center's aquarium enough credit. I think it's really nice. Not to mention, get, you know, the, same, the building has also houses the, uh, the Shuttle Endeavor, which is pretty dope too. <laughs> They do have that, that, that one statue, though, at the end of that pier, of um, that famous surfer. I can never remember his name, but it's kind of terrifying in a way. I guess I can't cut that one corner. Science Museum? The Science Museum is dope. That's the jam. I like the Science Museum a whole lot. A whole lot. I think I think it's one of Los Angeles' best kept secrets is the Science Museum. That's just my opinion. It's honestly, I think, one of the places where I would take people from out of town. You know, if they wanted to see museums and stuff, the first place would be the LACMA, because it's the LACMA. <laughs> and the LACMA's dope. LACMA's like my happy place. And then the second place would be the Science Museum. 
Uh, third place would be um, several restaurants. <laughs> there. Now you got me thinking of Los Angeles places where I would take people. There's an overlook on Mulholland that looks overlooks um, the Hollywood Bowl. That would be another place I would take people. ask me, why do you still live in Los Angeles? I'm like, well, dude, there's tons of cool stuff here. <laughs> I know it's expensive, but there's tons of cool stuff to still see here and hang out and do. The weather's perfect. I mean, which can get kind of on your nerves sometimes, but we also don't age in Los Angeles, so that's a good thing. The old people are pretty hip. I get it. Maybe that'd be for anyone. But I wouldn't discount it. kind of weird bias that you might have to against Los Angeles. <laughs> setting up for the Grand Prix yet. Because he's in Long Beach, which is where obviously the Long Beach Grand Prix happens. And that's a fun time. That's a fun weekend, dude. Have you ever been down here for the Long, the Long Beach Grand Prix 40? Oh, it's so dope. Especially if you do remote control or a Tamiya fan. It's so dope. Tamiya has like literally all their stuff at like half off price. So if you're not even a fit race fan, but you still build models or RC cars, it's probably worth a one day ticket. But the race itself is super dope. Oh, you've never gone? Oh, dude. We should do. We should do a day at Long Beach uh, Grand Prix. And then I could video it and then uh, put it on the Discord and make it a YouTube video. <laughs> Maybe Miguel Dizzle will be down. Dude, it's dope. 
it's it's the dopest race. It's so awesome. I've been to a lot of races in my life, and I think Long Beach is probably my favorite race. It's such a fun weekend, man. Especially if you catch all of it, because on like Friday night they do drift races. Friday nights like uh, hot Asian, hot import nights, drift races, and then um, then Saturday is testing, and they do a um, they do an IMSA race, and then they do another race on right before the race on Sunday. And then after that is a truck race. At least that's what they did last year. They do this crazy, like, super truck race. Like a, um, what do you call them? The, uh, the, not trophy trucks, but they're, uh, short course trucks. And they do a race on the track. It's so awesome. <laughs> they got, like, jumps and everything, man. It's so sick. Usually happens like the weekend of Easter. I'm gonna ask Miguel if he knows what or not they um after this race. I'm gonna ask Miguel if he knows whether or not they're setting up the races just yet. Because they start out pretty early. And what's awesome is if you live down here, while they're setting up the races, you can actually race on the track. It, it's so sick. You can only do it like maybe like the week before the race, but you can go down to the track late night, no one's down there, and you can run on the track. It's super dope. Because <laughs> they block off all the streets and stuff. I mean, I'm, you're not allowed. I'm, I'm sure, you, you know, because the streets are still open until like maybe like the. I can't remember when they finally blocked all the streets off. But you can actually get it, run at least a little bit of the track. Dude, I used to tear that up with the R32. Like, maybe a week before the race when the barricade started going up, I'd be like, alright. Time to go down to the LBC. <laughs> Try to run a little bit of the race. You can't do the whole track, obviously. But you can at least do a little bit of it. It's pretty, it's pretty sick. check out the, the schedule and see if they, they're actually running the race this year. I'm hoping they are. I'm hoping it does happen. Because I really missed having it last year. I mean, of late, I haven't been going to it as much as I had in the past. I, in the past, I had been doing it every year. One year, I had a press pass that I may have gotten from someone. So I got to go all over the place. <laughs> and I will not divulge. The validity of me having a press pass online. <laughs> As to not get into one of the trouble. But I may or may have not had a press pass one year. <laughs> As long as you know the lingo and how to talk to other production people, you can 
get away with having a press pass. Because <laughs> I'm so far behind right now. We'll just spectate here. Yeah, you can use your own car. It's just you have to time it right. You live so far up in Simi Valley, it might not be worth it. It's literally like maybe like half the course you can run. The other half, you know, the, the streets are still unblocked. I mean, honestly, if you drive around Long Beach at night, you're driving on the track. Because it's all the streets. Oh, you worked on Home Improvement, the TV show. Yeah, you make a ton of money. Especially as a painter. Art department makes a good chunk of money. Especially if you're doing art department um, like on a TV show. That's a lot of money. I make, I may, I'm the one of the highest paid employees on set and I make about $77 an hour was the last time I checked. That's not including rental, but our department makes like what, $50 an hour or $45 an hour or something like that. I think it's like 50, 50 or 60. You probably would, would have been uh, doing, you are probably on the prep team would imagine. Yeah, you make a good chunk of money doing of doing the Hollywood thing. It does take a toll on your body, though. I don't know one person in the Hollywood business that's, aside from producers and directors, that hasn't had some sort of sustaining injury, injury over, you know, over the age of, like, 30. You know, all of us are injured somehow. Bad shoulders, bad knees. Terrible coke problem. One of those things is gonna bound to happen as an employee at, on, a, on a TV show or a movie. Yeah, terrible substance, substance abuse problem. Somehow, somewhere you're gonna be handicapped.
time where it's looking pretty. Pretty the same across the board here. It's varying degrees of weird tire wear, but the pattern seems the same for all the cars. Boss James went in for a full tire change so that we can't really count them. That's the 4 GT. And Scott look like, looks like he went in for tires as well. Yeah, that's how it is. People always, I always, people are always like, oh man, it must be so cushy working, you know, on a movie set. Like, oh, I don't know what movie set you're on. <laughs> I don't know what movie set you're on, but it must have been a nice one. I remember Jason was talking about this like a couple weeks ago. He's like, man, don't you ever go, you should go to sleep. I'm like, dude. Those days are over for me. Like, me getting, like, normal, regular sleep, those days are way over for me. There are weeks that I would literally get off of work, drive an hour and a half home, get two hours of sleep, and then have to drive another hour and a half back to work to go to work. Because they only allow you a 12-hour turnaround. But that doesn't count, like, you getting off of work, you unwinding, you driving home and back. So in reality, you get a 12-hour turnaround, but you only really get maybe seven, of the, seven to six of those hours to sleep. You know, it's, it's not easy by any means. It's by no means easy money. I remember all my buddies from high school, oh man, that's easy money. I'm like, Pfft. yeah, I'd like to see you try it for a week. Working like 90 hours a week. <laughs> 90 hours a week packed into a five to six day week. You know, might be seeing like, you know, five to seven thousand dollar paychecks. Um, but number one, Uncle Sam takes it, takes it out of your ass because it's all overtime. So your seven thousand dollar check becomes a thirty two hundred dollar check. And that's not including hospital bills and all that other stuff for any other ailments that you get while being on set. You know how many times I've almost been killed on set? I think the last time I almost got killed, I had counted 17 times in my 20 year career. So it's almost once a year where you almost die on set. <laughs> Trust me, talk to anyone that's worked on a movie set. I guarantee you anyone's gonna say, yeah, I've almost died on set X amount of times. <laughs> no, it's not easy money at all. It's not easy money at all. The last time I almost died on set, um, because of sleep exhaustion, a grip, well, for some reason, the transpo driver was unloading the grip department off on, a, on, a, on an incline off of a stake bed, which is probably the worst idea ever because the grip department has all of the most heavy equipment. And no shit, I was sitting there, standing there, smoking a cigarette, and this guy loses control of like a, like a 2,000 pound cart. It comes flying out and literally falls about a half inch away from my, my, my foot. Had I been a half inch further in, I would have been dead. There's no way. There's no way I would have survived that. Not at the impact. I mean, it was hard enough, and it was a, it was all of their steel. It was their steel car. So had that thing fallen on me, I would have been dead. There was, there's no way I would have, I would have survived that. <laughs> you know, there, there's no way I would have survived that. I mean, it was, it was a hard enough impact that it destroyed their cart. And that cart was all box steel. Totally crushed it. Yeah, that was one of the last... And that was almost one of the last straws. I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. 
was like, the money's good, the, 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 you know, all of the perks are good, but the idea that I almost die every other day is not good. <laughs> that is not good. You know? I've almost gotten trampled by um, a horse or ten Clydesdales pulling a cart. That's a fun story. Uh, how else have I almost died? I almost fell off the top of the U.S. Bank building because a helicopter was landing all funky. It was a windy day. That was a, that's a fun story. <laughs> and have you ever seen a picture of Los Angeles? The U.S. Bank building is a building that gets blown up by the aliens in Independence Day. I almost fall, fell off the top of that thing. Uh, I've almost gotten run over by a car during a stunt. Um, on a Kevin Smith movie called Red State, um, I had... Um, they were using full loads in their blanks. And I could feel... I could feel, like, the stuff coming out of the, the guns. <laughs> like, I could feel whenever, whenever you shoot a full load off, like a blank load, there was... You could feel, like, the heat coming off of whatever it is that comes out of the guns. I didn't almost die there, but it was pretty damn scary. I've had a cannon shot at me. <laughs> oh, cannon with a half load shot at me. <laughs> I've almost gotten impaled by, by, uh, by a tomahawk. <laughs> There's so many stories. There's so many stories of near-death experiences on, uh, on movie sets that I have. I don't think many people can say they could have been shot by a cannon, though. I have. <laughs> I've been shot at with a cannon with a like half to almost three-quarters load. Yeah, there's some stories. I got some stories, man. Oh, I forgot to look at everyone doing, um, doing, uh, burnouts, man. Let's sit here talking about dying in the movie business. Mark is gonna slowly make it over. <laughs> Stop it. It's not finish line. Congratulations, gentlemen. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be people that work in the movie industry. Unless you want to have that experience, I mean, I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I'm glad I had the experience, but... Uh, it was one of those experiences that uh, I wish had gone over better. <laughs> Let me save the fish. Fish. Joe Fish is in the room. We'll run this next one. Why not? We'll give it 11 minutes. It's crazy, man. But was that a real shotgun, like shooting off non-blanks or, bl or blanks? It's even crazier when it's blanks. <laughs> I've been shot at with a 45, like with real bullets, but and I, they, they couldn't hit me. But, um... I've been shot at that one scene, dude. It was. I know there was like a. Um, there were a couple of uh, SMGs in there. Um, I can't remember what else was in that. In that. Oh, I hope you feel better. That's not good, smog. I hope it wasn't something you ate. Dude, go off. Go feel better.
Yeah, I wasn't very smart as a real as a little. Actually, that happened in college. <laughs> at college, I got shot at with a Mac 10 and a 45. <laughs> that was my freshman year in college. <laughs> but it, it was because my college dorm was in the middle of the hood. I saw two. Uh, I was witness to two um, drive-by shootings. Oh, look, one of your teammates is in the room, Chris. Rev, Rev Expense. One of your old teammates is in the room. Or is it Rev Expense? Let me see again. And to Bellas Core. Yeah, dude. You don't use you wanna think the Colombian use mediums? Ah whatever, who cares? <laughs> oh dude, yeah. Yeah, ma smog, just go sit down, go lay down or something. Take some Pepto Bismol or something. Have a good night, my friends. Take care of your stomach. Drink a lot of water. I hope you don't have like food poisoning or anything. Oh, Mikey uses cockpit view too. How about that? I thought I was the only one. Get a knobber. Um. Yeah, when I was um, when I was in high college, like where my dorm is, is you have to kind of understand Richmond. Richmond is the downtown areas where VCU is, and VCU is in the middle of the downtown area, which has been really like poverty stricken. And at least when I was there, was just getting on its feet again. So we had this park called Monroe Park that was known to have like tons of shootings. People would get raped in there all the time because people would just hang out in the trees. And the first day after moving in, um, we were hanging out in front of the dorms and there was a drive-by shooting. Uh, they'd shot this guy that was on the bench in front of the dorms. And I was on that side of the street. That was fun. And then the night that we were moving out of the dorms, I was on my bike across the street from the from the dorms. And there was another drive-by shooting, car to car. All Mac 10s. It's pretty vicious. That was my that was my freshman year. I was like, welcome, welcome to your college years, little boy. <laughs> Yeah, those were uh, some good days in college. <laughs> VCU is much nicer now. Richmond's much nicer now. But back in the day, back in the day, that's how you learn. I learned to identify what gun was what. Because whenever you would go to sleep at night, you could hear, I'd be like, okay, that's an AK-47. That's a Glock. That's a 12 gauge. <laughs> That's, that's where I went to college. Real high class place, man. Real classy, classy place. Good school though. Probably one of the best art schools in Virginia. If not the East, best publicly funded art schools on the East Coast. You got some nice guns. <laughs> man. That wasn't the first time I got shot out of Richmond too. Because I always typically lived in the hood. Because the you know the houses were bigger and cheaper there. Um, the hoods generally where I lived, and you know, you see tons of gunfights out there. 
Then you learn to avoid those parts of town and then get good get good with the, the locals. My last house I lived in Richmond's um, caught on fire. And I had this, I had this, um, one, of my room, one of my roommates had a, a pit bull that I would literally, literally bring to the basketball court all the time and, and all the homies. Um, eventually got to, like, got to know the dog. And, um, and every now and then the Imani would get out by himself and we had no idea how he would escape the house. But he'd come back and, you know, he'd be just chilling out on the front porch and we'd let him in. But we had a fire at my house and um, I had to sleep on the porch for like the first two days so no one would nick any of our stuff. So I would sit and sleep on the porch with like a 45 and just, you know, hang out just to show that there were people there. And these, these guys come down the street never had seen him before and they'd be like and they came up to me and they're like yo man is the dog okay and i was like yeah and they're like word and then they walked off and i was like what is it what's the dog been doing who's the dog been hanging out all this time <laughs> i was like what's what's the body been doing on all this all this time man he, he apparently found his own posse somewhere in the neighborhood that we didn't even know about it <laughs> I am Filipino. Well, my mom and dad are Filipino. I'm American Filipino. <laughs> I can't. I can't really claim to be Filipino because I just barely know things about that country. I know I like the food. <laughs> I know how to know when I'm in trouble. Lee. <laughs> oh, your girlfriend's Filipino. Dope. Dope. Um, yeah, that was funny. That was a funny night. That was a weird night. Because then the whole night I'm like, what's that dog been doing? <laughs> like, what, what has he been doing when he's been out of the house? I had never seen these guys before. Apparently they lived like way down the street. But apparently the dog hung out with them when he wasn't at our house. <laughs> Yeah, that was a rough neighborhood. Uh, so you're 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 Filipino too. <laughs> you're 50 white, 50 percent white, 50 percent American, Mexican, then you're Filipino too. <laughs> and then if you're a girlfriend and you have a have a kid, then the kid's gonna be Puerto Rican. <laughs> That's what I always tell my friends that are 50-50 Mexican and white. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, you're, you're close enough to being Filipino. <laughs> it's about the same thing. <laughs> it's about the same balance of a uh, balance of a uh, of white and brown. <laughs> I need to actually hang out with my boss, who's uh. My ex boss. He likes to call me Cabron. <laughs> Cabron, get the jinga. I haven't seen him in a while. The old man, the old man, still out in the movie game. Even though his uh, his boom operator just quit, he was one of my mentors. It's actually kind of sad that he quit. Finally, he, re he didn't quit. He re he retired leaving my other super old boss um, in the lurch. <laughs> my old Mexican boss. Now, Jose is probably like in this close, nearing 60, probably, at this point. But you would never think it. That man, that man still acts like he's 27, man.
Not to mention he's uh he's Rico Suave around the girls, so <laughs> Yeah, no, the Spanish made an impact on us, right? Hey man, we we killed Vasco da Gama. <laughs> was it Vasco da Gama? It was either Vasco da Gama or um it was one of the it was one of the Spaniards that that, that conquered the Philippines. Um, the Filipinos actually raised, rose up and, 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 and killed that dude. I think it was Vasco da Gama, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> they got a monument, a monument about it and everything in the Philippines. <laughs> I actually visited the monument. They're all proud of it. Like, this is where he got beheaded. <laughs> We're one of the we're one of the cultures that actually uh, <coughs> rose up against their conquerors. One of the colonized cultures that rose up against their conquerors, and one for that matter. The Spanish did make an impact on us, though. <coughs> Yeah, dude, there's a lot of weird, interesting history on the Philippine Islands. There's a lot of weird stuff that happens down there, too. Did you know the split is like 50... It's 51% Muslim and 49% Catholic, so like there's... Or Christian. <coughs> so there's one island that's literally Muslim. And there's one island that is, is, is uh, Christian. The two main big islands. Al-Qaeda actually trains down there. They train on... Um, some of the islands will become... Uh, just to dodge all the drones and the, the satellites. They'll train on islands that actually show up during low tide and then during high tide they go they go away. The last time I was down there, Duterte was like bombing the hell out of that, that island. <laughs> My oh, man Duterte likes bombing stuff, man. Yeah, there's some really, really interesting stuff that happens in the Philippines. You know, that, that's why a lot of pirates come out of the Philippines, because they have lots of islands where they can, they can just island hop. And some of the islands are there during the day, and then during low tide, or during low tide, and then at high tide, they're just gone. My aunt only actually owns an island that it only she can only spend like eight hours or something on because once the tide comes in it goes away, but she bought it. So that's pretty dope. <laughs> you own a little secret island, that's pretty sweet, man. <laughs> that's some pretty sweet stuff, man. You know who else loves the Philippines? The Germans. It's like they're Hawaii. Germans love the Philippines. I actually one of my one of my parents' condos is across the street from the the Deutsche Bank down there, like the main Deutsche Bank building that services all of the Philippines. They, they, there's so many Germans there they had to actually put a you know a headquarters down there. Yep, butterfly knife. Same with um, and the butterfly knife is uh, the ballet song knife. Also goes along with uh, the Filipino martial art. Um, what's it called? Um, there's a Philippine martial art that's based all around the ballet song knife. So it tells you how vicious their fighting is down there. <laughs> Them dudes don't play, man. The Filipino mob uh, gangsters do not play. If you're down there, do not. Do not smart mouth any of them dudes, because they will take your life right then and there. They do not care. Them dudes do not care. <laughs> you look at them wrong, they, they, they are going to be at you. Hey, it can be a rough town. It can be a rough place to go to. Like, definitely stay, if you can stay out of, if you ever go visit, try to stay out of Manila. Unless you have someone that can speak Tagalog frequent, uh, fluently and knows where they're going. Because they will take advantage of you. They have me. And I'm the same color. You know? 
But they all know that I can't speak Tagalog. They, they know right off the bat that I'm an American that probably doesn't know how to speak Tagalog. And then they can tell it the minute I walk in on that onto that onto the tarmac, they know exactly. You know that I'm a Filipino that is a tourist, basically. Now you know the crazy. People don't believe me. People don't. People don't get me. They whenever I say some Filipino craziness that happens, <laughs> they just trust me. Like, no, they're such nice people. I mean, pff, that's because you only see the you only see the hospitality side, man. <laughs> that's all you you're only seeing the hospitality side because Filipinos are pretty hospitable people. Once you get to know them, you get to find the craziness about them. <laughs> Oh, we got some D's in here. Good. Yeah, there's some craziness that happens. <laughs> some craziness that happens, man. so hot to start off with. And it's happened every race so far. <laughs> I just thought of that when I think of crazy, crazy, uh, crazy Me Mexicans and crazy uh, Filipinos. Oh, I see. Don't you know I'm local? <laughs> you know what my favorite album title is? It's actually a Cypress Hill album, uh, Temple of Boom. I think that's the most hilarious thing in the world. <laughs> 
the Temple of Boom, man. <laughs> I don't know why no one ever thought of that before. <laughs> To the local. That was one of my favorite rap albums, actually. We all suck as hell. Oh, yeah, all right, bro. Oh, okay. yeah. I've got to read your story later. Your girlfriend got chucked out of the rainbow room? <laughs> How's that even possible? <laughs> Was this back in the heavy metal days? I know it's gonna be a long story. I can't, probably can't read while I'm driving, so. <laughs>
actually is not too bad, but the button is too, too bad.
a fun track though. Good night, 40. Thanks for hanging out in the stream, dude.
this tire wear. I wish we could serve them like we do an actual race, man. I got a barrier. I got a barrier violation. All right, well that's fine. It's just uh, oh, we have to actually finish the race now. Stupid.
man, I didn't even get to do a 360. Wow, a lot of people DNF'd on that one. I guess everyone's done with getting banged around on the walls. <laughs> So the next one's in uh, 11 minutes. Yeah, the tire wear is real on this one, man. <laughs> the tire wear is real on this one. I, started, I don't start feeling it until like lap 13. That's when it's like, oh, yeah, the tire's really bad right now. <laughs> you know what that it did to in order because my front tires were all right and i keep on forgetting to do this i need to start switching my tire my my tire balance to the front um toward the end of the race so like a lap seven or eight i think i'm gonna i'm gonna switch my tire balance to the front smoke. Everyone go smoke. Oh, we have to say hi to the Chalice Hattie. TJ Nuke. So they're beginner, but they're like A plus. Oof. Stand up for a little bit. Sitting in this stool is going to give me hemorrhoids or something, man. <laughs> this bar stool is killing me. Oh, uh, with the one, two, three, four, good to see ya. Had a pretty good day of practice, I think. At least I know which walls to hit. <laughs> no, I'm actually getting faster, so... Um, not by much, but I am getting faster. Uh, I would like to get into the 159s by tonight. That'd be nice. Oh, I ruined, I ruined someone. I can't remember who it was. Um, it was one of my regulars. Did you have a fight with Plaque Plum? I didn't see it. I was in a race. Too much rear bias. What are you talking about? I went, I moved to the front at the very beginning, or at the very end. It feels good at minus two. It actually didn't feel too bad at minus two. It felt really good at minus two. I did front bias that first time. It didn't feel as good. Uh, was the Lancer too slow in the straights? I mean, I'll try doing a lower bias. I mean, I tried uh, zero bias at one point. 
I think the second race or something. And it didn't feel very good. I mean, I think I'll run positive bias at the very beginning and then go to a negative bias toward the end. I mean, I've gone both ways at this point. I've gone plus two, I've gone minus two, and I've gone zero. I've tried out every single way. I mean, the car doesn't feel bad either way. I mean, that's the kind of the saving beauty of the Porsche. The Porsche, even with bad tire wear, still feels pretty all right either way. At least this one does. The Cayman's a different story since the take Cayman just feels like it's got no rear end hanging out on the ground. Well, then that would put me at zero. <laughs> I, I didn't like the card zero. What's up, Evo? You never get this track right? Yeah, it's hard to stay off the walls here. Yeah, the, the, the carnage at the very beginning is pretty, pretty intense. <laughs> the carnage is pretty intense at the very beginning. Oh, we'll, play, we'll try plus two this time. But I think I've already tried plus two. No stop. I mean, you really can't, I mean, unless it's the last, like, two or three laps is when you st I start, when I start feeling tire wear, is the last two laps. Yeah, this is a no-stopper. That's why I was running plus two. That's what I normally run in this car. This car is actually, I usually use uh, plus three. The RSR specifically, I run usually at a plus three. I, I did plus two this last time. And it, like I said, it didn't feel bad until the last two laps. That's when it started feeling funky. I still haven't figured quite my line out here either, so. I'm really just following people right now. You know, and if they go into the wall, I go into the wall because I'm just small-minded. But when I wasn't behind anyone and not um, following their bumper, um, I managed to keep it off the wall most of the time. Ooh, Porsche at Suzuka is a nice one. This RSR at Suzuka is awesome. I love the RSR at Suzuka. That's the last time I done, did Suzuka, and I love driving this car at, or at Suzuka. You know, oddly enough, 
that's my those are my favorite tracks too you named every single one of my my best and favorite tracks with the rsr and the cayman as well the cayman does really well at interlagos i've never done done the cayman at fuji i've done the cayman at suzuka though and that was good Yeah, it is. It's a really gratifying car to drive at Suzuka. I think it's actually more gratifying at Fuji, honestly. But, you know, we, that's all subjective. It's very close between the two, though. Especially the um, the big hairpin. What do you call it? It's um, I can't remember what the name of that turn is. The one after the bridge. Yeah, I've never done I've never done the the, the came at Fuji, so I wouldn't know about it. I've done the came in both at Interlagos and Suzuka though. Suzuka was during a um, a daily race back in the daily racing days. Yeah. Yeah, at the very end they're talking about that one chicane at the end at Suzuka. We're just gonna let everyone else go. Everyone else can go and run a qualifying lap. Plus, this is the time I get to sit and chat and talk with the chat. So I get like five to ten minutes to talk with the chat. Alright, we'll try plus two at this one, but I think it felt better at, at um, or two to the front. But I think it felt better at plus two. I I'm pretty sure I did minus two. I think I did like the first half in minus two. And then I switched to plus two. I mean, honestly, really, I should probably be doing, um, yeah, no pit. Oh, you know what I'm going to do, too? Put that up for the start. And the RSR actually isn't doing too bad here. Um, it's just, you know, it's a little slow. Um, but it isn't doing too bad here. It doesn't feel terrible. Like, like I said, up until about the last two laps is when I actually start feeling the tire wear on the rear end. But for the laps coming going up to that, I really don't feel the tire wear on the rear end. I could probably I could push the car. That's probably why I tore the hell out of it. I was tearing the hell out of the back tires because I was really pushing the car around some of the corners where I shouldn't have been pushing it. I am still trying to figure out track, you know, all all my my line through here, so I, I'm I'm guessing that you know over the course of the week hopefully my, my line will, my, my line and my tire wear will get better once I figure out exactly where I'm going you know I think I have kind of an idea of where I should be should and should not be the one thing that's getting me the one thing that's really really getting me is that stupid pit the uh, the, the out of bounds limit around the dock area dude I'm getting hit with that every single damn time <laughs> that's the one spot that's really honestly the one spot I'm having a lot of problems is, is trying to not hit that stupid I know where it is it's on either side of those rubble strips but I'm trying to not go over it like I'm only getting half my car over it like you should normally do but it's still like it's still handing me a, a penalty there so I guess I guess I can just barely touch those areas the little they're not really rubber strips either. They're just painted red and white. That's where I'm losing the most time. Because I'm having to serve penalties the whole time. <laughs> I'm trying to like, you know, I don't want to drive around with a damn penalty over my head. Because that's, you know, that's not doing me any good driving around with a penalty over my head. If I don't collect the penalty, then I'll never figure out, you know, what my pace is around here. So these last, like, couple of races I've been actually serving the penalty and it's like three seconds worth of penalty. I'm like, damn it, dude. 
Just from hitting that one damn spot. It's like, oh! Because it's like a half second penalty or something every time you hit it. And I've hit it like six times in a row. It was like a wall hit every now and then that will give me a one and a half second penalty. You should come out and uh, practice with us, chef. What type of chef are you, by the way? I've always meant to ask you. Like, what is the cuisine that you specialize in? I always wanted to be a chef. Never panned out though. I was a cook for a while. I was a kitchen manager. I've never been a chef. What is that noise? It sounds like someone blowing in my ear. I'm also a little tired. <coughs> Watch the French, they're like blocking. Okay. <laughs> sure. What do the Americans like doing then? <laughs> if, if, if every country has something that they like doing, what do the Americans do? Yeah, you like that, Scott? You like that play on words? <laughs> You like that play on words? It's punishing, isn't it? <laughs> My puns are punishing. Yeah, this car does look good from this angle. It's that green, that green, that speckled green is dope. Oh, I can't wait to Tuesday, man. Hopefully we'll get sweet colors on Tuesday. Oh, I can't wait to Tuesday. Tuesday's my new favorite day of the week. Get my new wheels. Get my new rims. I get my new colors. That, that's good, Scott. I like that one. <laughs> that's like a dad joke. <laughs> I like it, though. I like how you roll. I like dad jokes. Where'd my TCS go?
start from way behind now again.
Kim Can. Good to see you. We're in your homeland. <laughs> we're, in, we're in your country. Finally. We're in Tokyo. Ow. The city I've always wanted to uh, visit. I've always wanted to visit Tokyo. Never got a chance to. Hopefully soon. Hopefully very soon I'll get to visit Tokyo. And see the big Gundam and go to Hello, Hello Kitty Lands. <laughs> and then buy all my Macross models. And all my Tamiya models. Tokyo. I've always wanted to visit. I've been to Tokyo many times at the airport. <laughs> I've been to Narita plenty of times. <laughs> but I've never actually been in Tokyo. today good there you go 720 baby <laughs> Tokyo I like this race you know what's weird? My brake balance now at plus two feels just the same as it does at minus two. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm glad you're good. Good to see you in uh, the lobby. You came just in time. We'll have 11 minutes before the next race. Everyone's gonna go smoke cigarettes. Yeah, it's weird. My car feels the same either way. <laughs> Plus or minus two. My wear is almost exactly the same. Plus or minus two. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter on this track for the for the, for the the Cayman. It feels the same plus or minus two either way, now that I look at it. <laughs> I, you know, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, it's weird. Like, there's minimal difference. There's like a small difference between running plus or minus two here. Maybe it's just the way that the the car is balanced or something. But like, I looked at my tire wear. My tire wear looked, looked exactly the same as when I was running minus two. And and now that I now that I've play, felt both ways now, like a full race, it doesn't feel different either way. <laughs> and then the car dives a little bit more with plus two or minus two. Um, but otherwise, it, it feels almost the same. This is weird. 
I can't understand. I, I can't. I can't figure it out. I mean, I'll try it again at minus or plus two this time, maybe. Yeah, so is mine. But I think everyone's is. Tell you what, the Porsche's front tires are mint. <laughs> mint. <laughs> you got bullied by a frog. Well, they've been kind of bullying the whole night, so. Well, I haven't been up there to find out, though. Yeah, you know, that launch was actually... I launched really fast. Ooh, what flag is that? What is that flag? Where are you from? Oh, the UAE. This is the first time we've ever seen a UAE driver. Alright. Welcome from the UAE. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the UAE flag. I'll watch it later. Because I gotta jump out in order to watch the replay here. Okay. Alright, Scotty. See ya. Have a good night, dude. Dude. Have a good day at work tomorrow. Yeah, that's the weirdest thing, man. I mean, maybe the fronts were a tiny bit more worn, but not much. Oh, were? That's a lot of mileage. Yeah, my my fronts. I'm, I've been trying to get my fronts to bear a little bit of the wear, but they aren't. They're not bearing any kind of wear. Maybe I'll throw the fronts all the way to like plus five. I'm gonna try plus five this time. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it at plus four, or plus three, because I want I want my fronts to bear a little bit of the wear. But it doesn't look like. At plus two, they are. So I'm going to go plus three or four this time around. What time are we at? 6.55. Dang, this might be the last race. Oh, so it won't be Citroen? What are you going to write? What are you going to choose next, uh, next season? I'm going to stay with Porsche. I like Porsche. It's such a, it might be not the quickest car, or the fastest car, but it definitely is very satisfying to drive. It's a very satisfying car to drive. Both of them are. Good night. Welcome. You're welcome.
what do you think you're gonna switch to, Kim? Kim Ken? I always like the idea of switching to Aston or Jaguar. I don't think I'll ever do that though. I really, I really do like the Porsches a whole, a whole lot. I like driving the Porsches a lot. I really enjoy driving the RSR. Um, the Cayman I can really enjoy if it isn't at Bathurst. <laughs> the RSR is actually really fun at Bathurst. Um, but the, the Cayman just did not, did not do very well at Bathurst. All week, all week it was just awful. So, um, so, uh, that's the only track though so far out of the Porsches, out of all the races that have done, the, that's the only track that I feel uncomfortable with, with one of the Porsches, the, the, the Cayman. But the RSR feels it feels great around Bathurst. I actually have a really good time with Bathurst and the RSR. You know, I, I, may, I probably should change at some point, but. You know, I'm still even kind of just mastering the, the Porsches, so... Changing right now doesn't make much sense. You know, I don't do that much racing. I only do... I only do the manufacturers, right? So I don't even do nations. I never do any of the dailies, so it's probably... You know, this is the only race that I do race, is the, the manufacturers race. I've got enough time to get coffee, don't I? Let me get coffee real quick. I'll be back in a second. Driving the RSR is a very, very um, pleasing experience. I really like this car. I also like the designing on this car. I like designing on both the Porsches. Doing liveries on both Porsches is very, very gratifying. It's a challenge. They're very challenging cars to design for, but once you can make a really nice livery for their for them, um, you know they look really sharp. Like I. The, the design I have on the... yeah my, my, my doors needed oil for a while <laughs> that door has been needing oil for a while even even before I moved in it needed oil I just had to take I've taken it off and on and off of tinges so much so many times are you coming in and running another run Joe or are you, you just chilling out Are you done for the night? Did you get dumped hard in the last race? I'm sorry. Why does this keep on changing? So I'm gonna try minus four. Let's try to get the Let's get the front tires worn out. So let's let's try minus four and see what that does. I just want the I want the uh, fronts to kind of bear some more of the load. Maybe minus four is too much. Let's do minus three. Maybe I'll notice a difference at minus three. But minus two, it feels like it does at plus two. It was weird. It's one of the weirdest things I've ever experienced with this car. 
Maybe it's because the track is so fast. You know, I'm never laying on the brakes long enough to really... I'm not even laying on the brakes much at all, which is probably half my problem. It's probably why I keep on running into walls. It looks good though. This 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 livery is, does look good. I haven't unfortunately seen it too much this season. It takes pictures really well, this one. It really looks good on pictures. Oh, looks like we already have uh, someone leaving the room. Maybe this will be a good chance for us to actually run and uh, <laughs> not get bashed around. <laughs> Well, you should have stayed in because you know you know the room's gonna. It's Monday. It's Sunday night, so this isn't gonna be very busy. Everyone's getting ready for work and stuff. I'm the only idiot that isn't working right now. I think Stan may have waited until the room kind of. Um, Stan, I think, waited until the room emptied out so he could come in and run some laps. That's all I've been doing today. That's honestly why I've been hanging back so much. Because I'm, I'm not really that interested in racing. I'm just more interested about um, trying to find my line around here. Right, I think I finally have a line that I like. I finally stopped hitting that stupid penalty area. God, that penalty area is a nightmare, dude. Around the dock area? Good lord. You, you breathe wrong in that area and you get a penalty. Oh, one of the premium guys tried to dump stand. Ah, it's the French. <laughs> I wish people tried to dump me, man. I need to ha I need practice on having to deal with people trying to dump me during a damn race. That's why I do so badly when people do dump me. Because I have no practice in here. Everyone's too civil in here. <laughs> Everyone's too civil and nice in here. I need people ramming me from the rear, from the behind. I need people ramming me from the side. I need people ramming me from all over. Because that's all I'm getting in the seas, apparently. That, no, well, no, no, no. Dragon's Tail wasn't like that. Just Bathurst. Bathurst was a bloodbath, man. The guys came out of the, the... The crazies came out of the woodwork for Bathurst. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I actually don't really pay attention to people that he drives against. I, I, I spend most of the time watching Key's stream just looking at what line he's using. I don't ever look at what he's racing. One thing I have learned about this track is you don't want to hammer on the brakes too much. Lose too much speed. The real, real slight. It's either that or my brake pedal isn't working. My brake button, my left button, isn't working very well. Yeah, working, working my 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 triggers too much. Because the left one doesn't feel like. Sometimes it feels like it's registering, and sometimes it doesn't feel like it's registering a brake. It's only the left one, though. So the right one is fine. And then I'm also not looking at 
the, the left brake thing. Brake input. During the race, which I probably should pay attention to, to see where where it is where the, uh, the left trigger starts picking up my brake input. I think Freak said he was sending out the steering wheel on Wednesday. So probably by next week I'll have the steering wheel. So we'll, we're gonna have to do some practice lobbies just so I can learn the wheel. <laughs> we'll have to do some practice lobbies that benefit only me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, maybe you need to actually just hang out and just have to take a, take some time for yourself, my friend. Let's do it. Was it minus three that I was going to try? Minus three, right? Stop the track by like nothing. <laughs> I honestly didn't know where he was.
trying to figure out which which core is necessary to break and which ones don't. Some of these you don't have to break, you just slow down and let off the gas and lift a little bit. This one you need to break.
my lobby rough? Dude, there are only like five people in here. <laughs> Rough could it get? Alright, let's stand, take it easy. are in here now, four of us. too fast.
turning. So I lost a lot of speed in that corner.
fast enough.
Well, that was interesting. All right, Chris. Good night, my friend. Wow. <laughs> Third by DNF. Very nice. I think that was the last race, my friends. Welcome both you guys. It's always a pleasure having you guys. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, minus four seems to work really well. Good night, Kim Ken. Have a good day. Have a good day, Kim Ken. It's daytime there. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Which yeah, whichever one. Yeah, whichever is yeah, whichever is the first. Whichever one is the front. The weird thing is, is that minus to me one minus two. Minus two felt the same <laughs> as plus two. Weird. Weird. I also got the same wear. Good, good, good. I was about to ask. I was about to ask.
<laughs> I'm sure you do too. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight to this stream, though, guys. We're gonna probably do this little conversation for a little bit. But um, to all you guys that watched and participated, good night, good night, Kim Ken. Have a good day. Have a good night or day. It's daytime where you are. Let's have a good day. Thank you for coming in the lobby. anyone that watched the stream and anyone that was uh, part of the lobby tonight which is kind of one and the same you guys are amazing you guys are always the best part of my day I'm hoping I'm hoping I was a good part of your day um, tomorrow more practice um, until then stay healthy stay happy continue being awesome to each other and I will see you guys tomorrow have a good night bye